Good evening and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on Loading Ready Run. Happy to have you with us. Hope your day is going well. My name is Graham and joining me this evening for the Paper Fight, we have, going down the line, Nelson. What up? Ben. What up? And Serge. Water. I'll tell you, Water. It's Modern Horizons 2 sealed, or, I'm sorry, uh... Redom Snozyro. <laughs> two. The two works either way. I knew which it. Is lucky. I knew yeah. Graham was coming. This was the, the mirror universe, Graham. Oh, <laughs> we just proved it. <laughs> we both have beards. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Spoiling another MTG set. Yeah, a whole set. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing some some sealed. Uh, we've got. Uh, the little pre-release kits we got extra from the PPR, so thanks, uh, Wizards, for that. And uh, we're going to be um, doing, uh, or I'm going to be doing a deck build in uh, just a second. Before we get into that, a couple things. Number one, the show is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Check out cardkingdom.com slash LRR. They're great. They'll ship you singles and older sealed product anywhere in the world. And current sealed product anywhere in the U.S. And if you tell them Loading Ready Run sent me a button, please, they'll give you a little one-inch button, which currently says, Changelings are cowards! Where's the lie? Is, it's just Technically fact. correct. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, also, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of either our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun or by subscribing here on Twitch. And uh, we'll be thanking the subs at the end of the show. For those of you watching on YouTube, hello out there. Um, please hello. Sub sub subscribe to the channel if you're not. Uh, otherwise, uh, leave a comment and boost that engagement. Um, one more thing before we get into the deck build is that owing to this isn't often we throw James under the bus for reasons that are maybe not explicitly his fault. This one we're going to actually blame James for owing to a miscommunication or a lack of communication actually internally we didn't know what we had decided on how we were going to break the uh sealed pools down because we also have some collector boosters lying around so what what ended up happening there is that um nelson and serge went ahead and built their pools with the six packs out of these things uh and ben swapped one of his for the collector booster we're all fine with that it's all still six boosters there's another like rare or something out of ben's we don't care so everyone be cool I'm going to open mine for funsies, but I'm just going to build out of the six packs that are in the uh, in the pre-release kit. And I'm so glad you three are here because out of all the pre-pre-releases we've done, this was the most challenging deck build for me. So I'm my, very my solution keen. was just to throw in all the colors. And that, Smart. Uh, yeah, no, just, just put the good cards in. Forehead. I will say, in, in 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 the only defense I had, it was a pile of boxes, and on top of each of the the sealed pre-release kits was a collector's booster, right? arranged very nicely on top of them. Oh, so I went, cool, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, let's go over to the uh, to this view, and I'll uh, open this collector booster for fun and value, hopefully. Transition. Oh, nice, timeless dragon. This is a really good UI. You got the. Uh, yeah, Ooh, nice got the nice. token for the eternal eternalizing the eternal dragon and the horrible food great uh all right regular foils gonna move through them pretty quickly we got a sojourner's companion got a viashino lash claw sinister starfish steel fin whale metal camel prophetic titan got an etched foil uh mountain i think yeah, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, a, that'd be a mountain yeah that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I asked ben he said it was a mountain yeah mm. Um, oh, all right, Ooh. Ooh. wide art, inevitable betrayal. That looks Very so nice. pretty. It's inevitable. Curse your sudden but full art betrayal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we've got a sketch underworld hermit. Mm -hmm. uh, Mood, he's the Pied Piper of squirrels. <laughs> Wait, is that the actual flavor that's awesome. text? That's, yeah. yeah, that's it's the art. It's the art brief. Hold on, seriously? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the sketch the, cards. So funny. Yeah. Art the briefs. flavor text on yeah. all the sketch cards is the art brief. Oh, I had I no it. idea. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's so fantastic. Yo! Hey, nice. we're on the board. <laughs> Sketchy Urza's Saga, very that's nice. Fun. Play that fast. Uh, Sketchy Artbound Shikari, very cool. Uh, we've got yeah, yet yeah. another uh, Air Amoeba. This one's this one's foil though. That card mm. loves you. Yeah, I ended up with three boy. of these in the other pool. Two of them in the old border, but this this one's foil, so that's cool. Uh, okay. Um, so what? Um, What's wait, happening? I'm, I'm uh, so glad this is happening to you. We time. were talking about this before. In my collector's booster, I got three 
of the the samurai <laughs> frog. I got one what? foil, one old border, and one in sketch. <laughs> so you get so, an etched foil and a foil of the yeah, same. Yeah, so this comic? one's this one's old school foil. So I'm trying to get a good angle on it. So you can see that the border is foil, but okay, that's just glare. Hang on, there we go. The border is foil, but not the art or the Correct. rule box. Yeah, okay. And yeah. then this is the etched foil. So it's got the etching across the entirety of it with that like sort of slightly huh. uh, stipple texture. Cool. All okay. right. And now for Aramiba number three. Okay. No, it's, <laughs> uh, it's an uh, etch foil resurgent belief, which That's is the enchantment one, right? Yeah. Return all enchantments from your graveyard to the battlefield. With oh, suspend. hi. Can we talk? Yeah, <laughs> I thought you might. And, I mean, I want another replenish. <gasps> and, oh. and, and a goblin engineer. Nice. A normal foil? A normal foil, goblin engineer. But it's got that little, uh, it's an old border, which is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a Modern Horizons one shot. card. Yeah, the yeah. swish. Cool. Well, that's neat. All right, I'm going to put all of this over in I mean, you and else. I are fighting in the first round. You could just put that's it in. That's true. If hey, you wanted to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I actually know if there's like anything <laughs> awesome in there. It was, yeah, it was like, medium. What if I just it take a mulligan on that pack? Yeah. 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 yeah I've, I've had my full of, <laughs> yeah. I've had my full of Aramibas. I mean, you get up. That's consistent. There's two Whoops. Aramibas. A lot, a lot is offered in that pack there, G. Yeah. yeah no kidding. <laughs> All right. Promo card. Ba-bam. Nice. Oh. Nettle cyst. Very Love good. It. That's such a good. It's so good. It's so unfairly good. Yeah. I got that thing up to like 25 25 against Kathleen in, uh. in the bonus games that we did. Oh, yeah. If you folks haven't seen, we put up, uh, like we did for last PPR, we put up some bonus bonus rounds um, of people playing their sealed decks from the PPR. We've got um, Wheeler versus Cameron, myself versus Nelson, and Kathleen versus Surge. Kathleen versus Surge just went up a couple hours ago, but it is. It's a it's an hour and twenty minutes and it is an epic match. It is very you can watch Nelson dumpster me and that's fun. But <laughs> the the Kathleen V uh surge match, no spoilers, is a very good match. Go you definitely want to go check that out. All right, let's try and get through deck building quickly so that we can play some games. All right. Uh Burdened Area List. Mount Velis Manticore, Jewelite Cobra. Kitchen Imp. Another blacksmith skill in Old Border. I think I have like, I don't know, I have a lot of blacksmith skill in the Old Border for I got, whatever reason. I got two reason. in the PPR in Old Border as well. All right, we so got like one land. One fixing land. Foundry Helix. Two fixing lands. All right. All right. All right. We're on our way. Five color dreams already Domain. there. Terramorph. 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 I can tell you, it's a pretty good archetype. Yeah, I want to Braids. agree with Wheeler. Nice. Sorry, oh, I want to agree what? with Ben, I mean. Ooh, and Fury. Fury. Oh, Ooh, Fury is absurd. Fury is, Fury is <sighs> it's honestly, very good. like any of the it's, elemental incarnations bomb. are so busted. Yeah. The green one's like, okay, but the red one, I feel like in limited, it's ugh, mm -hmm. gross. It's decent, uh, for sure. Bannerhide Crew Shock, Shattered Ego, Lightning Spear, Tizerus Charger, Marble Gargle, Hellmongrel, <laughs> Savaging, Terminal Agony. Nice. Ooh, Chatterstorm. I mean, you're, yeah, your Jund is looking really good so far, especially mm -hmm. when you're land Rifter. fixing. Feast of Sanity. Uh, Squirrel Sovereign. Hey, well, you got the Lord. All We've right. got Fire and Ice. I didn't know that was in the set. Yeah, cool. and Dress Down, uh, which is do a weird card. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very strange. Fire and Ice is neat. I like Fire and Ice because you don't even have to play both sides. I mean, Fire by itself is just fine. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to kill a thing. All right, another one of those Manticores, another Burdened Aerialist, another Cobra, Ooh, Lens Flare. I like the Cobra a lot. Arcbound Kitty, and second Foundry Helix. Mm. A second, or no, a Sojourner's Companion. All right, there's land number three. Another Jun land. It's a sign. Captured by Legax, Blazing Rootwalla, Monoskelion, the Squirrel Tree, Scourge Familiar, Gaia's Will. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. I don't actually know that one. Which one's Gaia's it's Will? It's Yagmoth's Will in green. Yeah. But it has Suspend? It's, yeah. Suspend for one green. So you got to time it carefully. Suspend for one green, and then till end of turn, you may play lands. Or cascade into it. And cast spells out of your graveyard. Oh, I guess you could cascade into it. That's true. 
Uh, well, I think actually, it, especially in sealed, suspending and then just resolving it like with all your mana available is probably not that bad a play. Like one of the oh, things yeah, about true. fair Yog will is that you have to put the first three mana into it when regrowth only costs two, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like you need to be getting two cards out of your Yog will for it to be better than regrowth. And oh, you want you want to be a lot better, right? So mm. that you make up for that mana. So Scuttle Tide, <gasps> Captain Vance, 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 Biting Grace, Angelic Curator, Solitude. Oof. <laughs> you got two elemental incarnations? Okay, white's yep. back on the table. <laughs> uh, with your fixing, I almost feel like you could just... I feel like you can just go, go four color. Just play yeah. all the bombs kind of thing. Yeah. Burdened Aerialist, another Manticore, another Cobra. I feel like any set that has fixing Bird. in common, it's just like four color, play your bombs. The black is pretty it, unexciting, yeah. I think. On. Yeah, black is not thrilling as of yet i suspect around the world there are a lot of converged decks being played during this pre-release weekend though. Ooh, old Ooh. border terminal agony mm-hmm. that glinting creeper there's yeah, one yeah. Old terminal chaos, agony it makes me think of black but that might not be exciting enough more uh, fixing sketchy road to ruin oh, i couldn't tell it, it yeah. almost looks like it's like blank yeah Ooh. i opened <laughs> one of those as well nice Ooh. squirrel mob nice okay we have a lot of squirrel synergy glimpse of tomorrow and a foil revolutionist. Glimpse of Tomorrow is this is like the warp world kind of thing. Right? Uh, red, red, suspend right. three. Shuffle all permanents you own into your library, then reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put all non aura permanents into play, then do the same for aura cards, then put the rest in the bottom of your library. Uh, not in sealed. It's a personal warp world? That seems <laughs> not good. Deeply right. medium. Hey, Rift Sower. Very nice. Foul Watcher. Gouge Zealot, Guilt Blade Prowler, Glimmer Baron, uh, Faithless Salvaging, Frog Samurai, Amoeba Sanctuary Raptor. What is this? Whenever it attacks, if you control three or more tokens, it gets plus two plus oh and first strike until end of turn. Oh, it's that's totally neat. decent. I've never seen that before, actually. Tide Shaper, Kaleidoscorch, Mog Salvage. If an opponent controls an island and you control a mountain, you may pay. You may cast this without paying its mana cost. What? Okay. It's Why did I put Kaleidoscorch in that pile? It's Ooh. in the green fixing pile. I like if you, you would... took the red card out of the green pile and then put the next red card what? into the green pile. I... <laughs> huh. Less haste, Ooh. more speed. I'm very there's, confused there's there, yeah. There's three goblins on the front. I get it. I, I see where your brain's yeah. going. Um, Academy Manufacturer. Nice. Uh, so it's if you would create a clue, food, or treasure, you get one of each instead. And a Void Mirror which uh, is probably not strictly playable in this set or deck. All right. So we only ended up with five of the lands, but we do have some other fixing. So we could easily be base green with some squirrels, some squirrel synergies there. Um, I don't know how much token creation you have, but manufacturer is busted wide open with metal cyst. I just absolutely absurd. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, right. That's cyst. It's not even one. like that play painful that. to play it if you aren't putting together synergies. Cause it's like a three probably the raptor. Three. Um, you have a lot um, of blue, like a lot of blue. Yeah, like you didn't have any like stone cold bombs, but I felt like you had a lot of like just good cards. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a quick look at blue. So tide shaper. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, target land becomes an island for as long as Tide Shaper remains on the battlefield. Interesting. It's a and classic it's a lockout strategy. You can yeah. deny your opponent colors by turning their lands in. It right. also enables turn island walk for the... like old merfolk stuff. Yeah. Right, okay. Your amoeba, of course. Uh, two foul watchers, I think. They're okay. Uh, yeah, two foul watchers. I have a playset of burdened aerialist. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> wow. So your like blue skies curve is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah blue skies is not bad. Uh, a floodhound, scuttle tide, um, goes more with madness. I, and I only picked up like one or two madness cards. There's like a hell mongrel and a blazing root walla and two copies of terminal agony. I think two copies. Yeah, two copies of terminal agony. But that's is the scuttle tide it. the one that makes a zero three crab and makes a treasure or a yeah. Well, um. No. No, it makes a crab. You discard a card to make a crab. Oh, that one. Okay. And then if you have delirium, your crabs become one force. I thought thought it was the three of an inspector one. I mean, those pirates are gross. 
with Academy with, Manufacturing. Yeah, with Manufacturing. Right? Yeah. yeah. So says. sick. Yeah. Like uh, that's yuck. Ghostlet Drifter is pretty cool. Um, it's a two-two flying. It's a wind drake, but you can give some. You can give other things flying, and you can channel it to give a bunch of stuff flying. Yeah, that is such so a that busted uncommon. In. I love that card. Um, Shattered Ego gives a thing minus three minus zero, oh, eh. and then put eh, is fine, and then step through bounces some things, which is maybe all right. But I don't like Scuttle Tide is fine. I don't think this is a Scuttle Tide uh, deck. And yeah, I, I guess feel like you just have this really annoying sky beat down that's like very yeah. <laughs> hard to deal with. Foul Watchers over over Aramiba and Tide Shaper probably. Okay, so there's there's a lot of cool blue there. I think I think my white is actually probably apart from Solitude. I think my white might be like the least. Yeah, like we've got Solitude miscut slightly. That's interesting. Uh. 3-2 Flash Life Link when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's control gains life equal to its power. Uh, like it's a very good card. <laughs> it is good. Yeah, it so stores that... the plowshares attached to a creature that you can evoke. It's absurd. But it, yeah. I mean yeah. it also it get it Like I would play that I would play a three two five drop that with Flash and Life Link that exiles something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, obviously the card evoke, gets yeah. a little bit worse the less white you play. But it's still a very good card, right? Yeah, just overall, I don't think the white is deep enough. Like, again, in the multicolor pile here, I've got a Breathless Knight and a Chrome Courier and Captured by Legax and a Graceful Restoration and two Foundry Helices. But How many free the, white points do you have from your duels? Just one or...? Just the Razor Ted Bridge, yeah. Okay. I feel like Oh, no, and the, and the Rustville Bridge, which is... Oh, okay, and plus you've got some five-color fixing. I feel like you might actually have, like, a busted um, Simic Tokens deck right 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 because you've also you're going to generate all these various like treasure tokens and stuff but then you've also got a ton of squirrels, squirrels. you have a glimmer baron in yeah, there I'm definitely keen on green let's see here rift sower glimmer baron squirrel mob uh probably glinting creeper um july cobra i think those are pretty good the guy is will i guess um scurry oak two yeah two july cobras squirrel sovereign and chatter storm let's say Terramorph. Oh, I'm sorry. Three Jewel Eye Cobras? I don't know if we want to run three necessarily, but that's probably fine. Your three drop slot's pretty heavy. And then Banner the Hide pirates, with the yeah. Pirates, yeah. Banner Hide Crew Shock. 4-4, four, four, Trample for four, Reinforce two, Scavenge seven. Yeah, all right. I love I'm this in. card. I think it's going to go... It, I, I saw someone tweeting and just saying it's going to go in like so many cubes because it's just mm -hmm. such a versatile card. Like the only green card that I don't think really synergizes is the... Dusk Shell Crawler, because I don't actually have a lot of plus one, plus one counter shenanigans going on. Um, I think the potential danger with your pool is as soon as you're in green, all of your fixing makes you want to splash out of green, because you have a green-red duel, you have a green-black duel, and then you're like, well, I'm in these colors, and I can easily, like, your lands push you in Jund, but I think Ben's on the money with how powerful your blue skies is. Mm-hmm. Well, like the skies is like a portion of it for sure, but like there's there seems to just be so much token generation. Even with like like the, the academy manufacturer, while tremendously like is like at first you're like, oh okay, it's like I think every one of your three drops just makes a treasure token. And, and that's the, and the manufacturer. Like I think people are yeah. sleeping on it. You think yeah. it's kind of cute until you realize that a clue lets you draw a card. And three life is nothing to like laugh at. It's absurd. Yeah, and you've got the net assist, right? Yeah. So it's like yeah. even even if you have three, like even if you just do it once, you make one treasure token. That's plus three plus three. Echoing return <laughs> or return more. Target, I, yeah. uh, echoing return return target creature card and all other cards with the same name to your hand. <laughs> well, well. Uh, it's like from the graveyard, or yeah, yeah. Yeah, the black is not actually super deep. I mean, there's some fine cards in it, but a lot of the black wants to pull you sort of in madness realm. There's I got Kitchen Imp and the Hellmongrel, uh, and the Necromancer's familiar. It's a three three flyer. It's lifelink as long as you're hell bent, and you can discard a card to give it indestructible. The Scourge familiar that lets you discard stuff. Braids. I mean, I think you could probably Braids. just cut black, maybe splash yeah. for the two madness removal spells, but that's very maybe. Oh, the terminal agony, yeah. Yeah, like yeah I, that, I think that's think... about it. That's the only black that I would look at, and only if it's free, and only if you're like pretty light on removal otherwise. But I think you're. We'll see what your red looks like. Yeah. Uh, Kaleidoscorch, I think, makes sense. 
uh, Faith of Salvaging is fine. Zealot's fine. Comes tomorrow. No revolutionist. Um, just get stuff back from the graveyard. So I guess that's okay. Gargadon. I don't think these Mount Velas Manticores. I've got three of them, but I don't actually think that this is the deck for them because again, they want me to discard stuff, and that's I, not actually where I have the support. I don't. So I've just seen a lot of people open pools, and uh -huh. so far I guess in this and. There's all these like enchantment payoff cards, but like so few in the like in like the enchantment sort of variety yeah. I've been yeah. finding. I don't know. Like I I've opened. I'm sorry. Four like, Mount Velas Manticore. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like there there it's it's there. I can I, I can see it. It's just like it's it seems to be like this really hard archetype to fall into. It might just be a draft thing. Probably I would. Yeah, uh, yeah just, definitely. There's some things you just can't pull off in sealed, but in yeah. draft, when you get access to way more packs, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I haven't drafted the set, so that that makes sense actually. Uh, so yeah, basically, Kaleidoscorch, Revolutionist, Gargadon, Fury, Captain Ripley, Vance, and probably Lightning Spear. Lightning Spear, sick. And I don't know about Faithless Salvaging. Seems not super deep, but maybe you want to play the Kaleidoscorch if you end up playing the Green Fixing. Yeah. Uh, so. I don't it, the I'm teamer, team I guess. Simic, I think Simic just just not even not even bothering with the red. Yeah, I don't know if you need to if you need to dilute it, like. But yeah. I mean, there are very you, there are very good cards in there. Also, you know, take it from uh, with a great assault because you're fighting me in round one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're not out here to be like great time yeah. to <laughs> time to sabotage yeah, Graham. Yeah. Yeah, I don't um, know. Like, there's some really good red. Like Fury is is so good. It's, yeah, it's so good. Um, you could hypothetically splash it with the amount of treasure you're making. Yeah, and I've got road, road to ruin as well. Yeah. So okay. You're Let's... playing metal cyst. There's almost a world in which you play all your artifact lands, anyways, just to buff that. And <laughs> then true. you can yeah. you can play something like fury, even though you're not heavily in red, and just cast it off of your your artifact lands and your treasures, and just be like, ah, whatever. Does it give life link? Uh, no, Solitude does. Fury has double strike. No, sorry, the, the Nettle Cyst. No. No. Okay. Just plus one, plus one. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just a cranial plating. Yeah, Got it's it. a living so, weapon, which is the absurd part that it has. Yeah. Frog Samurai. Uh, well, it's better than cranial plating because it pumps toughness, too. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Cranial plating only pumps power, right? Right, Squirt of course. King. I think. I think. Oh, you're right. Yeah, cranial plating fine. is only power. Let's say two Cobras. Squirrel Tree. Uh, guy as well. Probably Glinting Creeper. Another Squirrel. Glimber Baron. Uh, I'm going to put Rift Sower here because it's just going to get suspended. I feel like you're uh, going to have a Tog kill somebody. I hope so. So what's this? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, Alright. 16, 17. I'm going to put this Sanctuary Raptor in there for now. Because it seems like this will be a deck with tokens. Mm. Um, and then the blue. God, if, you, yeah, if your two colors are this deep, don't even worry about splashing. Holy moly. I, I didn't realize you're at this many playables before even adding blue. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meh. I mean, yeah, maybe. I think yeah. I think you don't need the the snakes as much. No, I don't. I think, think the so pirates either. are better than this. Like I don't actually know if you're even. I don't know. Like yeah, I guess maybe with the squirrels, maybe. Like squirrel lord, your your squirrels are coming out of chatterstorm the tree and. That's it, right? Like those are your only chatterstorm and the tree. Yeah, but okay. I also have a. Yeah. So I've got a squirrel mob and a squirrel sovereign. That's true. I don't, I don't have like chitter spitter or, or anything. So like I could like sort of strip the squirrel aspect out and then look at um, throwing in some red. I don't know. There's an interesting question to ask yourself is because like, I've got only plain green for fixing, which is sometimes a trap. Like if you're playing the color, not because it has a bomb and not because that is a win con. Is it better just to cut that color for one that consistently just has a higher level power, higher power level for all the cards? 
for what it's worth, I tried to answer this question with my PPR pool, and it ended up being like the best deck when I you, I didn't have any any converge cards at all, and I still just liked playing the green fixing version the most. Yeah, like I've got Rift Sower, Road, Terramorph. Um, I've got one land with red. Like I think like um, uh, that would also mean I could have Fire and Ice, and then probably. Like, I don't know. Kaleidoscorch, right? Kaleidoscorch. Um, Gargadon. <laughs> I think if you're Freaking playing red, you get Fury. Fury. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you have the black, uh, like, Warlock or whatever that drain life's them? No, oh, sadly. No, oh, okay. Right. No, I've got the Glinting Creeper and the Revolutionist. Those are the only two Converge cards I ended up with. Okay. And I don't think the Spear, but maybe... Or Ripley Vans, I don't think so. I don't think any of the other red cards are necessarily worth it, but probably. Why don't we have any love for Aqua Amoeba again? I like Aqua Amoeba. We can put an Aqua Amoeba in. I got an It's just like you have 103 drops, and like it's basically just as good as those ones. Yeah. So it's just better for Yeah, maybe I. Let's uh, maybe take out the uh, squirrel sub theme. Yeah, without a reliable of, generator, it doesn't actually like, go yeah, with. I think that's, yeah. I think that's but fair. But you, but but that's the thing is like this is still I think actually a really good tokens deck. Yeah, it's just not the squirrel tokens, which is is so cool, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's clues and treasure and food. Because yeah, I don't know how many tokens we're going to be able to chatter storm off with, and then the maximum the deck is making is like I could see you leaving in the tree. Yeah, the tree is cool. Um, Actually, yeah, the tree could evolve. Yeah, you yeah. can just evolve off your other creatures, right? And just, like, spit out a couple extra tokens, yeah. right? Because, like, every token you got, Glimmer Baron <laughs> gets so big, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's an it's an atog, right? And yeah. yeah, sometimes that just does it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 currently. I should count that again. I'm sorry. Yeah, twenty-seven. How do you feel about Blue's Clues over there? The uh, the dog that's hunting or the dog that investigates? I find it really slow. Oh, it I is slow, them. but like I kind of like being able to make, especially with Academy Manufacturer. I feel like just having a clue maker. Like I think I'd probably run that over one of these Foul Watchers if it came down to that. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a tough scenario, right? Because your deck feels very much like it wants to be something that you're like you're not a reactionary deck you're uh you're 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 being proactive like you're throwing down your 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 stuff sort of on curve mm -hmm. so it's, it's always that tough scenario is like are you gonna at what turn is floodhound gonna do something right like if you I, if you play it on turn one are you gonna do anything with it until like turn six or seven i want to put up for floodhound if you're playing four of those pirates What's it called? Sorry, it needs you to sacrifice oh. a, a, a token. Yeah, that anytime life. you sack a clue, they get yeah. you because because you can't. The pirates do not inherently let you sacrifice mm -hmm. the token. Right, so you need you you want to be able to you want a token that you want to sacrifice. Right, um, like a clue. Yeah, yeah. God, so, if you had the uncommon squirrel on this deck, the one that anytime you sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one yeah. counter, that'd be absurd. And I'm yeah. kind of sad you be, don't have it. Yeah, that would be goof town. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to disagree with any th other things we said about Floodhound, but I think if you're playing four of those pirates, uh, yeah, Floodhound gets better. All right, yeah, maybe you're gonna give all your pirates look at flying. the other end of the cut of the curve. Yeah, why don't we cut the Gargadon? Point. Do we need Gargadon? Yeah, I think Gargadon. Yeah, don't yeah. Need, don't need Gargadon, but you know, um, I figured it's suspended for cheap. Is the Anarchist There's, any good here? The this guy, the Revolutionist. Yeah. Sorry, um, I was so I've got old one. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I've got one built-in discard outlet. Uh, to make it for cheaper, but otherwise it's a six mana three three that gets back some decent spells, but not great spells, right? No, it's not, like not amazing. No. It's not like you're getting back a vindicate. And you I mean, you have a regrowth well right there. Already, right? Yeah, you've already getting set back in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, it's reasonable. It also makes cut like or? cutting your splash color makes yeah. stuff way easier too. Always uh, feels good, right, Serge? If you can like get get your mana a little better. Yeah. So you need yeah. two more cuts. Yes, two more cuts. Um, a medium on the bounce spell. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, we don't yeah. have a ton of removal period, though, right? That's the thing, yeah. 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 Like, that. for that reason, I kind of like the bounce spell there. Do we need the Terra more? I, I guess we're trying to play Fury. Suggestion. Yeah. If we're playing that Fury, maybe we do. I don't know. But you're making so much treasure. Right? Okay, like, okay. You know? Right, yeah. right, right, got right. Four Treasure Makers, Rift yeah. Sower, and Road. Yeah, let's live a little. Go All right. Ahead. And then maybe maybe we don't need Sanctuary Raptor. Uh, I, it's, what is it? Isn't, isn't, it, isn't it effectively as long as you're attacking? It's a four three first strike. First strike, yeah. I like your bird stuff. I like that better air. than your um, whatever the green dog will is. I don't I don't know if you get enough Guys, value. Well, it's like kind of cute. Yeah, it is a little cute. That's fair. <laughs> It's but I don't know. It's it's, it's like cool. we we kind of have to play it for the fans. Sometimes, sometimes you, you know what's good TV. One, oh, that's you know a trap, Nelly. Every well, Jack gets at least I'm gonna cut one, one of these gimme, birds, right? All right. All right. I'm gonna cut one of those birds. Okay, okay. get out of here. Two, four, bird. six, eight, ten, ah! twelve, fourteen, the... sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. We've all played the three-drop plateau sealed deck. Everybody's <laughs> done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your curve is just. <laughs> it's a giant T. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're All playing right. a funnel. It's like a, yeah, it's a cylinder. Good. We managed to not Cone. take the entire yeah. first hour of the stream to make the deck. So there's that. Cool deck. Um, I guess t uh, three mountains? Two mountains? Probably just two. Two, Probably just yeah, two with the, the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to cast it off yeah. treasures, right? And so then that's 14 other lands. So probably uh, a little heavier on blue. Agreed. I'd so go eight island? Yeah, eight. Wait. So eight, six? No. Are we not, yeah. are we not jamming like, a few off-color artifact lands just for Nettlesis. Oh, we could. We not, yeah. we, I thought we were actually going to do that. Uh, That's I, not the a only bad idea. so far as Nettlesist, and but, if you're not also splashing off of that, I'm not in love with it as much. Says the guy who attacked with Nettlesist for eight on turn four. <laughs> splash the white ones and put Solitude in. But that was in a five-color deck. <laughs> We've got blue, See, white. See, they add red. They add blue. Red, white. Uh, and red black. So you you mean like these two? Run well, them, my only, run them as my only reason for plans? saying no in this particular deck is you do look like your proactive aggressive deck that wants to beat your opponent down, and every land that enters play tapped is going is to set rough. you off that strategy. Yeah, mm. three is okay. I think I, I like playing two. <laughs> oh, Nelly. No, I agree with you. I just I I think that the Nelsis value is relevant too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's worth noting that it doesn't seem like Graham wants to do a lot on turn one. I agree. I, yeah, I'm honestly, sure. honestly, I'm sure. Splash, honestly, splash and solitude. solitude. Yes. Cut that yeah. bounce spell. Yeah, cut get that the, bounce spell. Get yeah. solitude. Yeah. Splash the white lands. Yeah. There we go. We're all on the same page. Yeah. We did yeah. it. Okay. We did it. So yeah, what, we did okay, it. What one basics, plains, what, one mountain. <laughs> is that the basics I'm running? One, I one think of each. So I think one plains, one mountain, and then like eight, seven or something. We need a bunch of green and a bunch of blue after we have. Uh, I wouldn't five, play a basic planes oh, personally. Six six. No basic planes, but we have. I wouldn't road play basic no? planes because it's it's okay. basically a colorless land for the entirety of the deck, other than solitude. I think you're happy to not be able to cast solitude, but to cast every other spell in your deck. Just then try there, to get their own treasure. Yeah, there is no like, there is no swords, right? Like or, or sorry, uh, path, right? And it kind of. Like right. thing in this, like there's nothing yeah. that's going to force you. Your opponent's to never going to get, get you. A, give you a basic, yeah, to go get you a basic or anything. So right. yeah, you're probably right. All right. It's, it's tough knowing that if you were to want to play solitude on curve, you you have to wait like you know to get <laughs> those. Look, I mean, we're you a treasure treasures. deck. You're yeah. gonna get yeah. there off yeah. treasure. Honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. I'm fine that we're here. But actually, if we're playing the Solitude, I think we're supposed to put the Terramorph back in and then play one oh. basic plane. Yeah! Because we have yeah, a Terramorph, we just got it. Then you play a basic planes, and you don't want to play basic planes. But you do now, because you've got a Solitude. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Graham, you're going to have to decide on this one. Yeah, This, yeah. this yeah. is a you call. We, we, I have full Statler and Waldorf, the uh, the team here. Honestly, we're I would completely useless put the Terramorph point. back in, slot a planes, lose guy as well. That's yeah. yeah that's yeah, probably yeah. actually yeah. true. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> solitude is our meme card now. Yeah. Okay. We're memeing on solitude <laughs> instead of with, guys. With that, yeah. it means well. that you only need to put one plains, one mountain, and then the yeah. rest yeah. can yeah. be islands. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, probably and a cool. straight six-six split from there. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think and so. this is how your yeah, two-color deck so. ends up a four-color deck in this format. <laughs> This is Modern Horizons. Honestly, it's, yeah. it's hard not to. I was somebody yeah, asked me about it yeah. today during my stream, and I was just like, I feel like you minimum go three colors almost 100%. Of it's, the so time. it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so I'm only playing easy. two, but I felt like I could go three easy. My PPR pool had nine dual lands in it. Like, yeah. honestly, yeah. 
And hey, like you don't have to. Worlds of the multiverse. You don't have yeah. to do this, Graham, but I would, if it was me, I would 100% play the black red land and one less forest. <laughs> Just so you have a black source for kaleidoscope. Don't listen to his lies. Yeah, nah. yeah maybe don't do that. But that's what we're taking I would the full do. hour now. Do. We're so proud of ourselves for getting this deck yeah, built done in yeah, under an hour. We rolled back. <laughs> I mean, these 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 ones tap for red and green. <laughs> <laughs> no, perfect. Don't Actually, yeah. Nelson Salahoops Fun House of Lies. <laughs> oh All right. my god. <laughs> That's the deck. We're going to go with that. All right. I'm not going to play first because I like to sleeve my decks and I got to go get land and everything. But yeah. uh, round one, do we do a break now? I guess we'll do a break now. That probably makes more sense. Is that okay? Get it out of the way early. Easy peasy. Sure. Let's do it. Everyone's okay. cool with that. All right. Yeah. We're going to take a very quick break. Just three minutes, run some ads. And we're going to come back with round one, which will be Surge versus Nelson. Judge fight. And the on the Friday Night Paper fight, Modern Horizons 2 sealed. Don't go away. Oh, right. Ooh. <laughs> I'm over here now for some reason. Hello. Uh, welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on Loading Ready Run. Uh, still, Graham, Nelson, Ben, Serge, we're all here to play Modern Horizons 2 Sealed. And uh, if you're on the stream here, you're, you just saw me uh, do my deck build. If you're just joining us, I just did a deck build. But now we're going to see round one with Serge on... Four color, dang these hot hands versus Nelson on five color, be gay a drone, do crime. <laughs> Love it. Can't wait. Happy Pride. Are we greedy. <laughs> uh, Nelly, you won the die roll? Let's I did. I'd like to fight. Okay, I'd like to go first, but also I just want to tease this. We didn't talk about it during the break. We could be opening collective boosters packs too. Should we do that first or should we just fight? Oh, just fight. Just We're fight. fighting. Forest. Suspend Rift Sower. Go. Mm. Yeah, Your five color deck kind of the leads dream basic play forest on turn <laughs> one for Modern yeah. Horizons too. That's what we yeah. like. We like to see around here. Uh, I'm I, going to start with this Gold Buyer Bridge entering play tapped. It's the white black indestructible artifact land and say go, my friend. I'm Excellent. I'm confident that Paul will be fixing Nelson's. Uh... Yeah, he. I think he already did. I fixed Thank the camera, much, but not Paul. the board. But that's fine. It'll get there. Oh, yeah. my board is reversed. Oh, okay. yeah, my camera was also doing <laughs> everybody. <stuff>. Serge <laughs> has Everything. two battlefields, and they're both against right. Nelson's mystery. Yeah, one. take that, Nelly. It's two headed giant. This is my only chance to win. Go. I just played a tap land, and I'm at my. Well, now you have to undo problem. it. Okay, see, you need to trust in the Paul Nelson. You just need to trust in the Paul. <laughs> All right, did. I'm going to play the blue red duel now, and then yep. I'm going to tap my gold Meyer bridge to cast a brainstone. Can you brainstone wrong? Ooh, no one has ever figured that out. Everyone mm. is always brainstoning wrong. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. I will cast this Rift Sower in my upkeep. I accept. Draw a card and think about my it's life. A one, it's, it's a 1-2? One, it's three. a 1-3. It's a three one, toughness. That booty. Why does it, it have... came in off suspend, it has haste. Why does it have a point of power and why does it have three toughness? <laughs> right? Um. Well, this is a weird turn. That we're living through, but that's okay. I will cast Steel Dromedary. It's a fighting camel. We've got a 2 2 camel, enters with two plus one plus one counters on it, so it's a 4 4, but it doesn't untap if it has a plus one plus one counter on it. Also, at the beginning of combat on my turn, I can move a plus one plus one counter from it onto target creature, which I I don't know if I want to do yet. I'm just going to sit. I have a 4 4 camel. Back to you. It's tapped. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, does it come in tap? Sorry. Sorry, also, I'll play yeah. My bad. Enters oh, tapped. Land. Okay. Enters tapped with two plus one plus ones. Interesting. I'm still, I'm still not doing anything. Okay, that's an artifact. Okay, untap. Draw for the turn. Cool. Snowbird Mike says, "I don't know. I think most people can brainstone in Canada right now. <laughs> can can brainstone in Canada now that it's legal." <laughs> mm. So that can't attack me. Or does it well, attack me as a 3-3, three, three, but then it makes your 1-3 a 2-4? It's a frozen 4-4, four, four, and once I get rid of all the counters, then it can. it's a 2-2 two, two that can do stuff. And in the beginning of combat, I can move counters around. But I just didn't feel like putting one on my mana dork right away. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm fair. going to break ties and just disenchant that. Well, we lost the opportunity for that plus one plus one counter. Okay. Be that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will. <laughs> he, he just did yeah and uh i'll pass it's gonna feel real bad attacking for one next turn 
Tack for one. Back no, to you, sir. I've been one. I go to 19. All right. And then you said pass? Yeah, go ahead. Here I thought these plus one plus one counters were going to go on the creatures that like attacking. Uh, Graham was not the only person who opened elemental incarnations. I cast grief. Ooh. Yeah. How, Good grief. How griefy of you. I mean... Does it resolve? Do. Or do you have a counter spell? No, it definitely resolves. Here's my hand. Captured by Legax, mm -hmm. Prismatic Ending, Tragic Fall, and Planes. Tragic Fall is minus three, minus three. Captured by Legax is Pacifism. What is the white one? It, it's like a sort of postures for a lot of mana. It's X and white to cast, and then Converge, Exile, Target, Non-Land, Permanent. If its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. And we have uh, four colors of lands in this thing right now, so... Uh, let's take the Legax. Legax it, out. Yeah, I think that's the best one right there, because it makes your board better. Yeah. And deals with my creature. Uh, go to you. It's very supportive. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'll uh, minus three, minus three, your grief. Yep. Okay. Just like looking at a hand of removal, I'm like, let's take, uh, let's take the one that I think... It's weird, like, which is the best removal spell, right? Yeah. Cleverly kept my threats on top here with Wave Sifter. How Ooh, dare nice. you? We're How gonna clever! Make... We're going to make two clues. Okay. And attack for one. For one again? Gosh. I go down to 18. Yeah. Gosh, that camel play was really, really mm. bad. Go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, I'm going to play this Razor Tide Bridge. It's the blue-white mm -hmm. duel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this Foil uh, Dakin. Oh, that wow. was, yeah. oh, very nice. Yeah, this was my pre-release yep. sealed rare. Yeah, I like cool. it. Like I said, these hands are running hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it enters with a number of loyalty equal to the number of lands I have, which is five. Okay. Five uh, I'm going to on exile Dakon. your flyer. See you later, Wave Sifter. By using the minus three ability there. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Bone Shards. Uh, discarding this Charger Pegasus mm -hmm. uh, to destroy your 1-3. And the card going into the graveyard is a Tizarus Charger. It's a 3-mana 2-3, or pardon me, 3-mana three 3-2 three, Pegasus with Escape for 5. Escape 5? Yeah. Okay. Nice so turn. We're, we're running on a limited sample size, but currently all data points to surge is incapable of opening a modern horizons 2 pre-release kit that does not include dacon yeah. <laughs> two out of two <laughs> two for two percent open record yeah yeah uh, go ahead yeah let's i drew um i think we're probably supposed to exile dacon oh no uh, that also hits planeswalkers yeah non-land permanent oh Ooh. wait sorry i can i can untap a land here can't i because the sorry, it's another one of these X doesn't mean anything, right? Exile target non land permanent if its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast a spell. So if I just go uh, white, black, blue here, what's it called? It's called prismatic ending. Ah, am I doing this right, Judge Fight? I, I believe think I so. can. It's just yeah, like X converge equals two. Converge is just going to check yeah. the number of colors, which is three. Yep. Mm. So yeah, X is two. You've played three colors for it. Permanent with CMC. It says a CMC of three, so this gets exiled. And then I'll play right. a Dross Forge Bridge and say go. Okay. It's Battle of the Bridges. I was going to uh, surveil so I could bring my creature back, but this is fine too, you know. Um, you I'm going to play a Sanctifier en vec. So if you have any red or black permanents in your graveyard, wait. Uh, exile permits? all cards that are. Wait, I'm going to not cast this because this seems oh, bad. I see. Okay, no, okay. I'm just, I'm just casually undoing what I'm doing here for my take turn. Take these backsies, yeah. You can take these backsies in competitive play. Sure. In this competitive play, for sure. I mean, I think that take back is actually okay in competitive, right? Like, I didn't gain anything, or you didn't gain anything from it. Well, I mean, I did not exile my own graveyard, which is a little bit tough, but yeah, like, catching it before it was relevant. Yeah, it's a judge call for sure. <laughs> but I think I think the judge is probably letting you take it back. Uh, I'm instead casting this Cabal Initiate. <laughs> <laughs> two one, two one lifelink. Uh, two one. It. I have to discard a card for it to have lifelink, and for threshold, okay. it has. Uh, it gets plus one plus two. Cool. So I currently have four cards in my graveyard, three of which are black. So casting the one that exiles all the black cards from my graveyard seems kind of bad. Also, at least this initiate is fighting with your uh, Pegasus for what to do mm -hmm. with the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll crack this clue. Yep. 
Untap. Draw. Uh, red. Black. Blue. Green, white. Uh-oh. Am I going to take five here? Yeah, it's Radiant Epicure for Woo! the five-point life swing. Oh, that stings. Ooh. All right, that's a big life swing. I'll play another bridge and say go. Nelly to 25, Surge to 13, end step. I'm going to crack this Brainstone. You got it. Sorry, Ben, you carry on. No, 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 you you, you go for it. I was just like, oh, I haven't been doing this. And then notice that there's like life total changes. And I'm like, have I been doing this? I'm going to I'm going to touch the buttons now. <laughs> yeah, he took the one from 20 to 19. And I was like, Ben said he's doing it. I'm not going to do anything. And then it just didn't change. And I was like, oh, I should change it. <laughs> and now we know the consummate professional. Uh, Surge, with these two black creatures in your deck, I wonder if you're just supposed to cut that rare for game two. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay, no, it's not a very like, good rare. Uh, well, I, I won't. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not certain because like, it has, it has other are. good abilities. I'm, I'm not. You are in yeah. fact correct, my okay, friend. Okay. okay. What, what card are you talking about? Uh, uh, we're talking about Sanctifier Envec. Okay. So which it's... has pro red, pro black. Actually, pro black's kind of real right yeah, now, I'm facing like, a five five. But yeah, I mean, it is a powerful creature on the board, and it's uh, supposed to host your opponent. land. Uh, let's play this. Breathless is the night. Hmm. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer with lifelink, and whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature enters the battlefield from the graveyard, put a plus one, plus one counter on the knight. Cool. Okay. How much mana do you have to pay to escape the Pegasus? I have to pay five and exile five other cards. Okay. And how big is it and stuff? What's uh, It will be a 4-3 with flying. Wow. Okay. Right, because it comes, it escapes with a flying counter. It yeah, escapes with a flying counter and a plus one plus one counter. That's so neat. Yeah, it is. Check out what I found. <laughs> I wish I opened Sanctifier on Vec. So uh, I, would... I have to ask myself: yeah. Do I play this two two to block your five five, or do I get a four three flyer next turn? I think I like the flyer next turn better. Um, go ahead. It is going to shut off my threshold, which is a little awkward, but whatever. I will sacrifice a clue. Hmm. Cards in hand? One. But I brainstormed it could be anything. <laughs> right. Well, I think you're getting that flyer no matter what, so I'll attack for five. <sighs> it's a five, five. Card seems really good. There's a lot of really good cards on the table. Honestly, part of the challenge of this sealed format is just that there's barely any bad cards at all. Yeah, yeah. they're all like very every good. all of the commons are just like, yeah, you would play this in most draft decks. Like, uh, no blocks. That's fine. Five. I'm playing a tap land that's saying go, bud. I got an eight. Okay, untap, untap, draw for the turn. Okay, Dumpster Fire is letting us know that it's either a plus one, plus one counter or a flying counter. What? <laughs> How dare it say or instead of and? So, oh, no, it'll get the plus one, plus one counter. Sorry, you, uh, the Breathless Knight will get a plus one, plus one. Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's what I meant. I wasn't wrong this whole time. Haha, -ha, saved. So will it be a 3-2 then? or? We'll find out. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Wouldn't you like to know, <laughs> yes, Mr. Salahub? I, I just want to be able to read anyone's cards. <laughs> Please. Mine, mine or yours, either are good. So I have two lines, and I think I like this one best. I'm going to attack you for two in the air with lifelink. Yep, that happens. 20, 23 and 10. Oh god, you're still above 20. That's hardly fair. Radiant Epicure is good at providing life points. So I'll hit you to 23, and I'll go to 10. And then uh, my second main phase... We got on life totals. Boys, boys, commentary boys. What? Uh, Tw surge attacks for two with lifelink. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I take Oink, two, he gains two. Oink, All right. yeah. Sweet, killing it. I'm going to cast this prophetic titan. Uh oh. And I have an artifact, I have a sorcery, I have a creature, and I have an instant, so I have delirium. Wow. Ooh, so when it comes into both. play, 
I may deal four damage to any target. Uh, I choose Nelson Salahub. I take four. Um, and I get to Impulse. I may look at the top four cards in my library, put one into my hand, and the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. Decent. Hey, I have Delirium too, for now. Must be nice. <laughs> Just think, you could have shut off Delirium with that uh, Sanctifier. Yeah. Oh no! Pretty shut off my Delirium. Yeah. Don't leave my defective swat on the table. Yeah. Rest in Code thirteen hundred was watching my stream on Wednesday. All right. This goes on the bottom, random order. I'm gonna play this scalding tarn. Because I also opened that. Nice. And then I will pass to you. And tap. You have one card in hand, now two? Two. Two. Okay. Um but hopefully that'll be a different story in a second here. Um, okay, I'm going to play... Uh, yeah, that's the best way I can do that, I think. Yeah. I will play land for the turn, and then... For six, I will draw three cards with Mental Journey. Mm. Yep, seems good. Yep, six mana for Ancestral. You saw it here first. <laughs> that card actually yeah. seems kind of real. Right. Yeah, it's not terrible for sure. And then I will pay a red and a white to Kaleida Scorch Breathless Knight. So two damage to Breathless Knight. Let me read the night very quickly. You got it. <laughs> How dead are you, Sir uh, Knight? In, in the very bottom right-hand corner, Serge, there's there's two <laughs> numbers. What's the second of those two numbers? Uh, it appears to be a two and a two. Hold on. Let's let's get right into there. Oh, focus. Ah, All right. Good job. The opposite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. So I think that means it dies. Ah, that's so unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, that happens. I'll crack I mean, five. I'm, I'm, I'm no judge, but... All right, I announce my intentions to double block. You have a 4-4 four, four and a 2-1? I have a 4-4, four, four and I currently have a 2-1, correct. Oh, but you have a card in hand, so you could... I have a card in hand, I also have a fetch land. Oh, right, right, right. That's fine, let's put the giant in front. The giant in front? Um, all right, I will activate uh, Cabal Initiate's ability by discarding the Sanctifier Knight. I now have okay. Threshold, and this has Lifelink. You got it. So you gain three and our larger creatures trade. Yeah. Back to you. So, so I go to 13. Um, I'm going to crack the Scalding Tarn and go down to 12 end step. Did I play a single mountain? Did I take my own advice? Good, I did not. All right, we're going to grab this island. <laughs> Was that actually good or? It is good. Yeah, because I, okay. I don't want a mountain. I have right. one red card, two red cards in my deck. I have one red card in my deck. All right. Untap. The board is mine, and I have a 3-3. Three, three. Truth. Attack you for three. Yep, I take three. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast this Guardian Kieran. You got it. And pass. Untap. Okay, sorry, how many cards in hand now? I'm Heckbent. Heck no, you're got delirium, he's got threshold, he's your got actual hellbent. Hell hmm. uh, no, Heckbent was the was the joking name we came up with for the one in Amonket that was one or fewer cards. Oh, yeah, I yeah. got threshold and I'm Heckbent and I have delirium. No, hell you you are you're actual hellbent. Sorry, actual hellbent. I don't want to say the word hell! Why? It's written on the card. <laughs> it's okay, Serge. No one's going to get mad at you for saying Hellbent. Just don't say Hell. Just say Hellbent. Yeah. It's like how on uh, on um, like PG-13 uh, TV shows, you can say the words ass and hole. But if you say ass, mm. they bleep the word hole right. for some reason. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, because that's a bad word. <laughs> Soul of Migration. Oh, no! It's kind of a funny-sounding card. 
Also kind of a funny card. Okay, so it makes two 1-1 one, one birds. I can only find one bird, but I have a 1-1 yep. flying spirit. Um, so it's a 2-4 flying that comes with two birds for seven mana. I don't know if I'm going to play this next round or not. Let's also play a Goldmeyer Bridge and say go. Uh, we're got, so we've reached the point of the mana. game where Nelly can start playing a seven mana Haymakers. And still have two mana up. Just in case. It's a long one. Uh, Brainstone? Brainstone number two, you absolute Crack Brainstone? mad lad. Oh. Seems should like have a kept fine that, time to... Should have kept that fetch land. Oops. Seems like a fine time to brainstone. Yeah. So if I attack with my 3-3, three, three, I end up in a world in which I trade it for a 1-1 one, one bird. Seems not great. Also, like, yeah, inability to say hell. Tell me we're living in a puritanical society without telling me. <laughs> Good evening, pharmacist judge. Uh, Stick around. I'll put these both back. Uh, land for the turn. Pay five mana. Actually, do I want to attack first and then trade for a bird instead of having a 2 1? I think I like that, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to cast anything. Uh, I'm going to attack with this 3 3. Uh, yeah. I will do that block we talked about. Okay. Yeah, I'll kill the bird. Okay. My thing dies. I'll pay five. I'm going to exile five cards and escape. Oh, sorry. When it dies, I also get a plus one plus one counter on my guardian killing. Sorry, what did you take there, damage-wise? Zero. <clears throat> okay, sorry. We traded a 1-1 one, one for a 3-3. Three, three. So I'm going to escape three. the charger <coughs> by exiling one, two... Three, four. I don't know if I have any way to get the cards back. Five cards from my graveyard. So my graveyard is currently Break Ties, Grief, Bone Shards, Brainstorm, and Scalding Tarn. I don't know, just in case Delirium matters again. Cool. That's fair. And I'm going to escape this with a... Make it a 4-3 on the ground. I think that's more important. I'm going to escape it with a plus one plus one counter on it instead you of a flying it. counter. Cool. All right, so I have a 4-3 on the ground and a 2-4 in the air, and I'll pass. A 3-4 in the air, pardon me. And you, and you no longer have Threshold, but your Cabal Initiate is dead, so... Eh. Actually, no, that was Hellbent that was the Cabal Initiate cared about. Hellbent, <laughs> not, th not Threshold. No, the Cabal Initiate different... actually cared about Threshold. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Right, we were just talking about Hellbent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a card in the set that cares about Hellbent, I just don't remember which one. Yeah, there's... It's a keyword soup in here. Yep. I would like to sacrifice my Verdant Catacombs. I'll find a forest for my library and lose one life. Nelly also Ooh. with the fetch land. Beautiful. You both opened a fetch land? I yeah, also so opened fetch. two two Riptide Laboratories that are in my sideboard. <laughs> no, uh, oh, no wizards? Okay. Worth doing some wizards? I have, have like one or two wizards, but I chose to go five color and didn't really want to bounce, you know, my... I mean, is the Epicure a wizard? Yeah, bouncing the Epicure is good. Don't get me wrong. That is good. I just am playing five. It's weird to play Riptide Lab in a Converge deck, right? Uh, speaking of Converge, let's Converge away your flying creature. What? With flashback on Kaleidoscorch. No. Targeting Guardian Kieran. Yep. So five damage to you, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Kieran. And then I'll attack for three in the sky. I will take three. I'm looking at my sideboard right now. And then I'll cast Orchard Strider and make two foods. Back to you. Oh, right. I know exactly what's on top of my deck. Uh, how big is your ground creature? 6-4. What? Uh, but... <laughs> play this artifact land tapped and pass. Your creature can block though, right? So it's like... Yeah. It's the best feeling when you have something with, you know, like the, your opponent has an awkwardly low toughness creature and you have an awkwardly high toughness creature. It's like the only time when four ones are good. James famously hates four ones. Hey, more rare lands. I forgot. I opened four rare lands. Surge, you now have forests. And I'll attack, oh. for, th I'll attack for three in the sky. 
I'm going to take three and go to nine. All right, go ahead. Play this. Yeah. I'm already sideboarding. Don't mind me. You're good. You're good. <laughs> don't, please don't uh, sideboard into your hand. But otherwise, you ever, uh, you ever brainstorm and then realize you have three lands on top of your deck and there's nothing you can do about it because you already got rid of your fetch? Mm. Just just me? Okay, cool. Pass. Not I'm fetch. sorry, James. I didn't mean to misquote you about not liking four ones. Now, we've joked about sideboarding as an admission of defeat. We even did that as a card kingdom uh, button. button right? But, you know, but that was a joke. I, I do think sideboarding during game one is probably an admission of defeat. <laughs> You're like, I can see how this is. I see how this is going. All right, yeah. I want to blow up the horse and attack for lethal. Attack for Xaxes? Uh, yeah, it's nine. All right. I, I die. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm gonna All take right. out the sanctifier and I'm gonna put in a removal spell. Should I put in the Riptide Lab? Not two of them, right? I don't put in two Riptide Labs, do I? How many Bouncing wizards? this. Well, I think I might have literal one. I think it's just Radiant Cure. <laughs> Honestly, I thought when I looked at the deck, she was a warlock, but she is a wizard. Oh. Ooh. Oh. So is Prophetic Titan. That's two good targets. They're both good targets. All right. All right. We're not doing a nicknames episode, but there is a nickname for that Radiant Epicure that I've heard that's very good. I'm listening. It's the Gay Merchant of Asphodel. Mm. Oh, right. Mm. Gay Merchant of Asphodel. Because it's all the colors of the rainbow, but also mm. hurting you with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste the rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the rainbow. Feel the rain, yeah. Oh, the rainbow. All right, I've swapped out three cards that I think will make my matchup better in this. How do you deal with that much removal? How do you deal with that much senseless hate when your opponent just has creatures. all the kill spells? Yeah. Yeah. Have more creatures, more creatures than they have removal. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I've done. I'm putting in more creatures. Didn't you take okay. out a creature and put in a removal spell? Well, that one didn't really count as a creature because that one's actually a nombo. That creature made my creatures worse, so I just uh, ended up discarding it. Fair. Yeah. But yeah, I can I can see what you're saying there. Can Ben and Graham choose one of them to be in charge of the life totals? I tell you what, I'll be in charge of the life totals for this game, but if it goes to game three, then Ben ah, can go for game three. Ah, a little bit three. of passy backsy forthies. I like it. <laughs> yes, it's been <laughs> very back and forth. Forthies. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a perfectly normal human would say, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm All right, just Nelson, I'm, I'm drawing a seven here. Are you ready to start the game, my friend? No, I got to board in this Riptide Lab for something. <laughs> what am I I found lately when I'm table friending, I'll just like I get in this mode where I'll, I'm just like telling jokes and it's like I'm like just watching my two friends play magic and then forget that like we're live and like we're doing yeah. things and right whatnot. right right yeah and, like, that, like I'm supposed to be like entertaining so it's like during the match I was sitting back like yeah here. I was like like mm. I was like way back here and I was, like, <laughs> like hell yeah man yeah. five five get that converge. <laughs> All right, like, this rules. <laughs> yeah, and then we come back, and I'm like, "Hi, uh, uh, what a great match!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you didn't see the PPR, my story of this format so far is just like try to build a like pretty straightforward red white deck, maybe splashing a bomb, get like eventually beaten by Kathleen. Like it was a close one; we fought hard, and then like round two i'm like okay i made it even more streamlined i'm gonna try and go like as fast as possible roll up against ben elmer he's got like the most like pile of haymakers and birds of paradise deck i've ever seen and like this format is just so supportive of it so then it's so in, in, the, in the bonus easy. games and it, this it, one that's what i did too yeah it's so easy to just get so many like i was obviously in a great spot but it's like all of the fixing that made my deck like so good is that common yeah. or maybe at uncommon right so it's just like like ornithopter of paradise i in this pool i got like two <laughs> i still have an open one i open yeah. i open Me neither yeah. but i don't open i, think I have like two that have diamond that lions point. and zero ornithopters of paradise yeah. really yeah i opened a diamond lion in my first pool and then it was my pre-release foil for this one I haven't cast one yet wow yeah all right I have, a, I have a good hand i have a good hand i think this is going to be different this game agree will be different with, uh, than the last. I agree with Greg Gredmanson that Ornithopter of Paradise still does not sound like the name of a black bordered magic card. No, right? It does like not. It definitely sounds like an unset goof. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'll keep. All right. Good luck, my friend. I'll play Thank first. You. And I'm game going to two. lead once the camera transition happens. Transition. Then again, transition. I mean, Strixhaven was full of cards like that. Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> Your, I play uh, your first day of school. Yeah. Uh, this is the Silver Bluff Bridge. Into Snow Day. Okay. I've got 
forest and rift sower again. Back to you. Oh my god. Oof. How does he do it? How do you think he does it? I don't know. You put the good cards at the top of your deck. Oh, That's okay. What you do. And really uh, pass. Untap. Suspend. Draw. Goldmire Bridge. Pass. Uh, end step. I'm going to basic land cycle this landscaper Kolos. I appreciate that move. And I'm going to find a basic swamp. Oh, what a good goat. Landscaper Kolos seems great, actually. I've been watching Kenji's stream, and he mm. likes to do this thing where he uh, land cycles landscaper Kolos and then casts, I don't know the name of it, offhand. Like turn to bird or whatever? Yeah, that like exiles a card from your graveyard and you get birds equal to its toughness. And so he's oh, like, yeah. cool, I just turn this into six birds. Scour the wastes. Yeah. yeah. I, I just like that there's a guy who's ostensibly like leading the landscaper Kolos. But it's like, what is he going to do if the landscaper yeah. Kolos decides it doesn't want to go that way? <laughs> I'm going to play this turn three Dakin. Turn three Dakin. Looks good. Looks good. Just and turn three I'm going Dakin. to investigate. And by investigate, I mean surveil, surveil. too. Sweet. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to turn three Dakin later. What do you think, Ben? Uh, yeah. I mean, let's indulge ourselves, right? Let, let's it's get, Friday. Let's get weird, right? Yeah. You girls, you, you, you girls want to split a plate of fries and get a fries for the <laughs> table. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put this underworld hermit in my bin. I'm going to leave a card on top. And then I'm going to say, uh, go. Does Underworld Hermit do something from the graveyard? No, it it just is not on top of my deck. <laughs> All good. Okay, I have a Rift Sower. Yep. I drew a card. Gotta think about my life here. I'm gonna play an island. And then... Hmm. Can I read Dak on one more time? Sorry. Minus three. Uh, plus exile one is surveil two. Minus three exile target creature. Minus six return an artifact from your graveyard or play an artifact from your hand directly into play. Okay. And you have four right now, right? Currently at four loyalty, correct. Okay, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to also cast a planeswalker on my turn three. Mine is called Gaiadrone Dehada. So wow. I have, Man. Yeah, protection. This has protection for rumors of corruption counters. Uh, and I think I'm going to start off by going plus one. Each opponent loses two life, and I gain two life. So we'll do that. And then I get what to put is a this deck? Then I get to put a corruption counter on up to one other target creature or planeswalker, and I'll choose Dak on. Um, not that that's probably super relevant. But, anyways, also I could, could have minus three to gain control of target creature or planeswalker until the turn. And tap it and put a corruption counter and it gains haste, and I can minus seven to gain control of each permanent with a corruption counter. So we have five loyalty right now. Uh, okay. And so this is a this is a flavor battle, right? Like, did yeah. these two actually fight in the story? You you have to tell me, but go ahead. These two actually fought in the story. Who won? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna minus because that's bad. I'm gonna minus and exile your creature. Oh, you got it. You got it. Um, and so when they you did not when give you, you the gain respect control you creature, for that gain joke. haste, what's happening here? In control uh, target. Yeah. Can you read it? Sorry. It's up no, I can't. Right now. Yeah. So it's it has five loyalty right now, and I can minus three to steal a creature or planeswalker and give it haste and a corruption counter, but just till end of turn. And then I minus seven to steal everything that has a corruption counter, and I plus one just to drain you and put down a corruption counter. And if you steal, it'll be minus three. It'll have two loyalty. Okay. Um, I'm. Oh, I can't. Buckets. Buckets. Buckets I'm gonna play another fun. rare here. I'm gonna cast Search the Premises. Ooh. Uh, it says whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, investigate. Okay. Pass. Solid. Good thing I'm planning to just win by plussing up this <laughs> uh, this planeswalker. Uh, okay, so I guess I got to get to put a corruption counter on up to one other target creature or planeswalker. Sure. So whatever, I'll put a second meaningless counter on Dakon, uh, and you'll lose two life, and I'll gain two life, and then I'm done. All right. You're, the ultimate is minus seven. Yeah, but we're only at six right now. Okay. These are the crimes that Nelson was. 
alluding to in his deck name. Um, yeah. Oh, surveil. The crimes are having an answer to search the premises. Um, really... I'm going to put uh, Cabal Initiate into my graveyard, leave that on top. I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn, and I'm going to crack this and go to 15. Ooh. Did you see yeah. what we just did I there? mean, ah. Uh... It's really <laughs> weird seeing, like, an old character, like Dacon, have a word like surveil mm, on yeah. him. It's, just, it's, yeah. just, it's, it's like, I, I understand it, like, flavor-wise. It's just, like, it's weird to me. All right, for a blue, uh, I'm going to cast Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues hmm. has been cast. And then for four, I'm going to cast this uh, Guardian Kieran. Nice. I'm still putting forth that Scooby-Doo is a better name for Blue's Then Blue's Clues? Clues? Yeah. I like Scooby-Doo. Like Scooby, Scooby-Doo? Scooby Ruh-Roh Raggy? Go ahead. Okay, we're going to untap. I mean, but like, Blue was also a bloodhound. Yeah. Oh, was he? And the dog makes clues. Like it's that's why I yeah. thought blues clues is pretty. But Scooby yeah. Doo yeah. spelled D E U. It's made out of water. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry, I thought that was being very evident with that. Yeah. Like, sorry, no, I no. I missed that. Yeah. I, yeah. I missed it too. I missed it. Yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. Scuba Doo. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Wonder Dog. <laughs> um. I'll I'll plus I'll drain you and I'll put a counter on the Guardian, Kieran. The black guy represent the counters. No, yeah, the Lagac. Thing. No, it's Dray Keeper. It's oh, it's elf potentially druid. worse. Mm. So this is a two-three elf that makes two squirrels when it ETBs. It does look like Lagac though when you can ETs barely see the, the card. Bee. And mm. then uh, it's a two-two. This, these are one ones, and for four mana, I can give my squirrels plus one plus zero and menace until turn. Okay, that's fine. And that's my turn. Okay. 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 Untap, untap, draw for the turn, land. I'm um, going to surveil. Sounds good. What's her ultimate do again? Gaia drone, she steals all the things cool. that have corruption counters on them. You gain, yeah, um, you gain control of everything that's been corrupted. Land in my graveyard, put that there. Uh, you don't have reach or anything, do you? Negative, no reach. I will attack you for two in the air. It hurts. Oh, no, no, not you. Sorry, your planeswalker. Your planeswalker. Well, she ha mm. she has protection from the the creatures and planeswalkers with the corruption counters on them. Yeah, she's really <laughs> good. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, she can just go. Oh, you're the next threat. No, no, no. But you can hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna cast this uh, ghost lit drifter. All right. Uh, I'm going to give Blue's Clues over here fine until end of turn. Cool. And then I'm going to hit your Planeswalker for one with Blue. Okay. Uh, uh, should I that... also attack with the Guardian Killin'? I do want to try and reduce your life total to zero. That's the a Guardian Killin'. <laughs> um, how much does it cost to activate to give your Squirrels Minache? Four. Absolutely Kieran the game out here. No, uh, I'll, mm -hmm. uh, I'll hold back. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to take a a loyalty Kieran counter off here. Of... But I just want to check in about life totals. I've activated this three times to drain search oh, for six. I must have missed one activation. I'm sorry. You're that's totally right. So I think he should... Yeah, that seems more... Oh, yeah, no! The game's <laughs> even more lopsided than I thought! That's on me. Go ahead, bud. Head. Untapping. Drawing. Sorry, you were crafting very good jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm good at. <laughs> You're in the right career. Yeah. Thank that's goodness. Awesome. That's awesome. All right, all right. What is the plan here? When Penelope goes, you're silly. I, my response is, I hope so. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, we have six mana. We'd really love to have seven, but we just don't, so that's okay. Sweet validation. Wait, how do you have six mana? Oh, you're counting one in I'm gonna, hand. I'm going to play yet? a land. I'm going to play a land. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. But we're not there yet, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, I'm gonna play a Thorn Glint Bridge tapped, and then I will cast Prismatic Ending, choosing the uh, the creature that gives other creatures flying, the Ghostlit Drifter. Uh, that costs three, right? 
So three, Correct. three drop mana value. Mana three value is three, yep. So I'll exile that, and then Gaia Drone will plus one to give Blue's Clues a counter, and then oh, uh, no. drain you for two. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. I, did, I did the drain this time. Thank you. And then I'm just going to say go. I'd rather <laughs> you not get more clues. Corruption is hard to do it. Corruption. You know what? You can't have my Dakin. I'm going to minus three Dakin to exile your Squirrel Lord. Yeah, I thought maybe that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Gaia Drone, you're only getting to steal a couple of common creatures next turn or something. I'm going to attack you with a 1, 2, and a 3, 4 in the air. I'll take it. Yeah, take four. God, he's at 28. No, no, your Kieran's only 2-3. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right, it's a 2-3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's confusing. Yeah, yeah it is. It's Yeah, it's all confusing. Yeah, Nelson's but, at 25. That is the correct yeah. cool. number. Um, I'm going to cast this uh, Chromatic Courier. Okay. So when it comes into play, reveal the top two cards. It's a Prophetic Titan. And a Silver Bluff Bridge. I put one into my hand, and the other in the graveyard. I'm going to put the Prophetic Titan into my hand. Um, okay. And this should be a Delirium. Land, Planeswalker, Creature... Nope. Only land, Planeswalker, Creature. Okay. Need to cast oh, wait. No, Artifact, because one of them's an Artifact land. Land, Planeswalker, Creature, Artifact. Yeah, I have cool. Delirium. Cool. Pass. All right, so you could deal four to my Planeswalker. She probably should. <laughs> <laughs> and Thought about it. Yeah, thought about it. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Um, so then I would just keep ticking up. Or I could steal those two creatures and then have to win through attacks while you have that enchantment. I used my everything removal on your flyer. Okay, we could have played this game better, team. We could have played this game better. I think you're doing okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not a this... magic expert, but yeah. you we seem this game doing all right. The pointy arrow of advantage you think is leaning over towards Nelly there? <laughs> it's uh, we can't use that, I think, because it's uh, too close to the arrow of advantage. Um, <laughs> we we use the pointy arrow of winning or the muffin of, hey, you're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The little advantage muffin, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so... <laughs> if you still say arrow of advantage... You're still using the, the, the trademarked one. Oh, yeah. I'll lose a life for Verdant Catacombs. Is it trademarked? Right. No, I don't think so. We're just making know. a joke. We call it the pointy arrow of winning. Mm. Right. So what are you saying? Like 70-30 pointy arrow of winning here? Or is it like 90-10? Um, I, I don't know. Right now, I think Nelson's got a pretty happy looking muffin. Yeah. Huh. What I kind mean, of what kind of muffin is the happy muffin? What, what are you trying That's to say? That's a great here, question. I don't know. I I, I guess Probably brand. Like, I I guess or That's carrot. Unfortunate, perhaps. It's it's a healthy <laughs> muffin. It's not a cupcake, right? It's I, definitely I would a think it's I would think it's blueberry. Okay, a couple people saying blueberry. Really? I would, even though you can't see any blueberries, just from the color. Yeah. Mm. Hey, today yeah. I learned that that word is pronounced blueberry. So that's cool. I'll cast Archfiend of Sorrows. When this enters the battlefield, creatures my opponent's control get minus two, minus two on the turn. It's a four five flying with unearth for five. Wait, how else would you pronounce it? Aha, uh -huh, joke's on you. This is Snowsberry. now now it has plus one plus one counters. Oh, oh, oh I just say blueberry. Bloobs. Um, okay. Uh, you have turned my three creatures into a singular creature. That's right. That's right. I will put a second corruption counter on that creature and you will lose two life and I will gain two life. Alright, I go to nine. You go and to twenty six. And then I'll say go. Notably, not attacking me with squirrels. Bold. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe that stupid Archfiend is a 4-5 with flying. What a dumb card. Yeah, why does it have 5 toughness? Did you know that Beast Isn't Whisperer has 3 drop? toughness? It is a 7 drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems, we figured it out. <laughs> seems well costed. <laughs> Reasonable, even. Oh my god. They're well, good. There's someone else play this that Titan Blue that we knew about. Cost 6 mana. I have... Um, I assume you've got Delirium. Delirium. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to shoot your Planeswalker for four. It takes four. I'm going to look four. at the top four cards in my library. I'm going to put this one into my hand. And I'm going to put these three on the bottom in a random order. And right. then I'm going to say go. What you say? 
pretty sure the Titan's prophecies are mostly centered around you're about to get hit for four damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're very consistent. They're yeah. Very accurate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, if that's the best it. thing when you, as the prophet, can be like, "I prophesize that I will punch you in the face," and they're like, "What?" and then you just do it. And you're like, "Ah, I am a seer of the future." <laughs> all right, I've been really enjoying this game, and all the jokes that have come out of it. And sadly, I just figured out that I have lethal on board. I've been only yeah, one to plus one, do. but I can. Yeah, but, you you, yeah. you mind control my flyer and, and then then attack I me shove. with your entire board. Yeah, and then I can block one and take exactly nine, which is too yeah. bad because I had the mind collapse. To nice. finish off the planeswalker next turn, oh. but I didn't have a mount in the sack. Sweet, wow, my friend. Very good. Do you have mounts in your deck? Thanks for the games. Heck yeah! <laughs> All right. Well played. So, Surge moves on to the finals, such as it is, and uh, now I guess it's time for Ben and I to jam. Ben, do you want to jam immediately or after a break? Because um, I think we can do either safely. I'm I'm cool with the, like I'm ready to go right now. If you want right, to jam immediately. It. I don't know if yeah, Paul needs let's, the the let's moment to swap. It, let, there'll, there'll be a brief booth. brief booth booth G break. Booth, 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 brief booth, booth shuffling brief. of people around. Thank booth. you for letting I'm me know. I'm going to take this opportunity to roll a 20-sided die. Very good. While you talk about that, I yeah. want to clarify for chat. I have moved on to the <laughs> losers bracket. You're right, chat. Even though Graham said I move on, it's true. I don't I don't have to stay here. I move somewhere. There is a direction. Mostly oh, did I down. get that wrong? Did I say no? No. You Surge said Surge moves on. on. Oh. Sorry. That's okay if, though. Maybe Surge. It, oh, oh okay. hi. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Nelson oh, moves on. Double vision. Nelson moves on to becoming Graham. I just want to make sure that Surge moves on from yeah. that loss. It's, from uh, that no, it, hit, <laughs> yeah. it, it hurt me hard. I, I I'm gonna have to deal with that one and unpack it for a long time. But I think I can yeah. move on with your support. Thank you, Graham. Absolutely. All right. I rolled an eight. I roll a five, so go ahead. All right. Or rather, make your choice. Uh, I'll do that thing where I play first. Oh, what? It's a popular okay. thing to do. Sir, yeah. would you like to handle life totals or shall I? Can you I? handle life totals and I handle I would, pizza? I would be happy to handle the life totals. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Nelson, right. I, I mean, I want to tell you how to live, but I feel like you're getting the short end of the stick here. Well, <laughs> hey, look, I just lost. I just lost. Let me. I knew, I knew it was going to be Friday and before the stream even started. I ordered pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, good and man. I snuck it into my face while the a break was happening before right before we started. We ordered katsudon. Mm. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound as yummy as pizza. I'm sorry. Greg. Oh, it's pretty good. Katsudon is <laughs> pretty tasty. I'd honestly yeah. take katsudon over pizza. Yeah. I mean, well, I love pizza too. I'm not going to I'm not out here hating on pizza. Is it like is it like take, a different culture? Take to the internet. It's cheese egg, bread? and then it's like fried chicken or fried pork on top of mm. it, and then maybe a bit of a gravy. And, or sorry, rice. Rice, fried meat, um, egg, and in a bowl. Can I talk it's, about one of the dope things right. I got from my collector booster that I'm not running? Rice yeah. poutine, you say. I pulled I it I in uh, in the regular PPR, but I got the better one now. Check out this uh, full art shardless agent. Is that, a, is that a borderless shardless agent? Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Wait, is your deck only two colors, Ben? It is. Spicy. Yeah. Oh, I guess I, I, yeah, I didn't I even have, think of a name for my deck. Um, I'll, you know what? We'll workshop one. And we'll come back to it. I kept uh, it lean and mean. Like the colors are blue, green, and red. So there's that. Oh, no, and white. Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about running another color, but the deck just seems better in uh, gruel, I think. All right. Great suggestion right. from the chat. How about, yes, hello, I am Deck? <laughs> Wheeler's not even here. Well, that's cool and good. Yeah. Um, um, no, it's not. I wish he was here. I have. I like uh, that guy. I have a seven. I also have a seven. Great. I think fight. we're waiting on the on Mr. Paul. Oh, we're good. Okay. Not waiting. Oh, is my Mr. camera Paul. reset? Oh, no. That's okay. his name. It's a little bit brighter, His name again. It's Mr. Paul. Uh, Montaigne. Go ahead. Oh, Splashing Incarnate. That's a fantastic deck name. Island. Oh, Splashing Incarnate. Thank you, Wonder yes. Doc. I like That's that one. That's great. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. All right. All oh, right. Drawing. Oh my uh, gosh. Forest. Mm. James is the first one to know us that Ben Ulmer does not require plastic packages for his magic cards. Yeah. It's, um... It says Richard Garfield intended. 
It's either sleeve up your cards or uh, get to see them uh, in, in my area. <laughs> Fair. The Foul Watcher, a nightmare bird. Uh, ETB Surveil 1. It's a 1 2? It is a 1 2, yes. Stormcrow. Um, okay. Do I want that? Foul Watcher? Do I want it? Do I need it? I don't think so. I put that on the bottom. Go ahead. Alrighty. Oh no, not on the not bottom. On the bottom. In, the graveyard. in my graveyard, in your, because yeah. it is surveil and not scry. It goes it's a planes, it goes in my graveyard. That's cool. a warning. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep it him honest. Um I'm gonna play a forest. Yes. And play my good buddy Tireless Tracker. Ooh, or Tireless very nice. Provisioner. Sorry. Yeah. Tra Tyler's Tracker is also cool, but this is Tyler's Provisioner. Provisioner. Uh, and also I'll good. Pass the turn. Splashing right. Incarnate's a really funny name, isn't it? Right? Yep. Um, that's a 3 2. It is a 3 2. Yep. Okay. Well, obviously never blocking, so I attack with my 1 2 flyer. Uh, yeah, I'm taking one. Ho ho. Well, then I'll we'll play a forest and I will play this Academy Manufacturer. Ooh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Forest. Yeah. Uh, get a treasure. Thought I had. I grabbed my pilot tokens, and it's all crabs. Um. <laughs> it's crabs all the way down. Crabs, crabs, crabs. Oh, there we go. I'll do that. Is that going to be the 2021 version of It's All Cake? Yeah. <laughs> it's crabs Everything all the way down. Crab. Is this like a it's... basketball or like, is it just a whole bunch of crabs like coalesced into a sphere? Uh, they did, they did Academy surgery Academy on the crab. a 1-3? One, 1-3, three? One, three, yeah. Yeah, okay. Combat? Mm-hmm. Sing for tree? No blocks. Okay. Uh, second main. Which, which of you, okay, now it's my turn. Which of you is doing life totals? Yeah, oh, it was me. It was me. Yeah. I was a, oh, I was yes. asleep. Indication. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was asleep at reading chat because it's the chat's been on fire lately. Sorry. <laughs> uh, You're recovering from my pizza, Nelly. Yeah. I did eventually. Is this right? Seventeen, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. correct. Thank you, right. sorry team. But yeah, also you're vindicated. It's not just you. Goblin and Archomancer. All right. Um. And I'll. Pass. You guys remember that time Surge totally biffed the life totals? <laughs> yeah, what the heck, man? <laughs> What's with that guy? Really messed up. Forest. Huh. He wants to defend himself, but he's too hungry. His pizza's just uh, so good. Yeah, I can hear his thoughts. Burdened aerialist. You got it. Get all cool. three. Oh, boy. I get, wait, where's my stack? Here I it like is. I that it happened immediately. Yeah. Yeah. A food. Seems good when you got a play set of them. A clue. A treasure. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Any hand with the manufacturer is probably pretty exciting, right? Because the deck, yep. the deck got a lot of ways to make token. it. Yeah. 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 Um, Three, two. <laughs> My um, goblin is a dose dose. This is delirium. So that's not. All right. Well, in with the bird. Uh, taking another bird. 18. Go ahead. One. Okay. Um, forest. Mm hmm. Generate another treasure. Mm hmm. Um, Um, combat? Yeah. Uh, I'll swing for three. I will block with this burdened aerialist. Cool. And I'm going to pass. All right. Uh, I will 
play a burdened aerialist. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Damn. Well, Ben, Food, treasure. You built this deck Food. right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Seems good. Yep. We all had a hand in it. I, uh, well, you we were the one really fighting to go for this token set strategy. <laughs> I just don't want to see that nettle thing. Yeah, me neither. Oh god, especially now. Holy well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's the other. It's gross. It's the one. I mean, at least punch. it doesn't give trample, but still pretty yeah. gross. Yeah, I guess we're just in with the bird again. Taking one. Yep. Seven All day. Gosh, and I like, I probably want a little more. Land? Like, maybe I shouldn't have been that plains just so I had more land, but. Um... You can crack a clue main and try to try to hit if you want to. No, I think what I'll do is. This is probably fine. I'm going to crack both these treasures and I'm going to cast Road. All right. Go looking for a basic. Okay. Um, and I guess I guess we'll get reminding myself of what actually is in this deck. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get a mountain then. So that will enter uh, tapped. And then I'm shuffling the deck here. And then in the graveyard, um, the aftermath half ruin is it deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands I control. Okie dokie, which is currently now five. Five. Okay. Seems good. And pass it on back. All right. How many cards you got in hand? Three. Okay. Mm. Do you have delirium yet, Graham? Or not quite? No. Or actually, que judge question. Is it both types in the graveyard? Yes. I believe so. I might have uh, to double check that. I think it's only think one type in your hand, so. but I think in the graveyard it might be both. Then I should have done that before combat. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, oh, the bird gets bigger, hey? Uh, the bird is now a 2 2. I'm pretty okay. sure it's both. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, the front Go face ahead. has all the characteristics of, or, yes. Okay. Um, oh, Pharmacist Judge in chat also said it's both. So heck yeah. Cool. I'm yeah. going to tap for one and using the discount from this Anarchomancer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cast Faithless Salvaging. Uh, yeah. Discarding this other Goblin Anarchomancer and drawing a card. Uh -huh. Did, that um, would just be too anarchic. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Um. Okay. Mm. Faithless, faithless salvaging is just what faithless looters call faithless looting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's a branding concern, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Random trivia says hi Baxter. No, that was some that was some high spirited children outside my window. <laughs> which is atypical. Um, little update, Ben, just a heads up. The card you cast has rebound. Just if you oh, want to put it oh, somewhere right. to remind right. yourself. Yeah, good call. Remix. Bound. To rebound. Um, yeah, I'll uh, pass it back to you. All righty. Okay, I'm going to play a burdened aerialist. <laughs> yeah, popping off. The birds are so good, and the aerialists are so good. Yeah, it's a uh, alpha flight force at this point, really. Yeah, I mean, I think, oof, yeah, I think you just win by cracking food on on my crack back and like. <laughs> And swinging in for what eight in the air? Whew. Um, yeah, I guess to that end, 
What do I want to do here? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I'll uh, crack a clue. Okay. Draw a card. Um, my aerialists get flying. Mm -hmm. And I will swing for five in disguise. Yeah, I'm taking five. Alrighty. Um... Yes, that is the extent of the things that I can do, so go ahead. All right. Untap, uh, upkeep, faithless salvaging comes off of rebound. Uh, I'll cast rebound. it. Uh, I'm going to discard this. Strike it rich. Uh, and draw a card. Dinger. Okay, well, I think I'm just dead. I drew all of my get there and none of my go. Um, Classic Friday night problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think with that, I think I'm just going to scoop it up and go to game two. Alrighty. Yeah. Like Wait, can we double check that you drew for the turn? Do you draw for your draw step? Oh, yeah. Because yes. you drew for the rebound spell, but you did draw another card after that? Yeah. Okay. Um, did I? I did. Yeah. I drew, uh, okay. I drew a mountain. Yeah. All good. All good. All right. Yeah. Ben, I just want to test, I did. test one thing here. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, he's key he's de keystoning wow. your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. Ah. Uh, ben That's is being little... sent. This is no, like you uh, my can you back faster down? and then put him in the uh the shadow realm or whatever happens at the end of Superman. <laughs> You're gonna be like weirdly weirdly squished. That was the Phantom Zone, sir. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, just I don't like, know if that's yeah. a good idea. They're like weirdly squat. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Know. Yeah, I mean, I be, wouldn't it might bother. be better for some people. I don't know. Hey, uh, Nelly, trade off, and I'll do life totals this time. Sure, sounds good. And awesome. then you get that to go to Serge's can... house and eat the rest of his pizza. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Joel, let you in. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. I think someone joined chat partway through that, asking how everyone is doing this evening. So thank you for that. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. Good. NK Cola also likes your shirt. Ben, we were talking about how much we like Ben's shirt before we went live. Oh, thank you. Uh, I feel like Graham has said that exact thing to search about the Phantom Zone. Yeah, and eventually he'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, how often? How often? How many times a year do you reference the Phantom Zone? Let's be a real here. A surprising amount. Really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Considering oh, no, when me? Superman 2 came out. Yeah. We do yeah, a lot of goofs. I, so I, I, get I it, reference yeah. it exactly enough to forget what it was called, but still be able to reference it. Hey, you know that thing where the person got locked in the cube? That got all woo woo woo. That thing. That's where yeah. I'm putting you. The the Shadow Realm is uh, how they get away with people getting effing killed in Yu Gi Oh! In Yu Gi Oh! Right. Yes. right, right. So the, the translations are like, yeah. oh, they're going to send to the Phantom Realm. The what? <laughs> Shut up. The, sh the shadow zone. <laughs> no further questions. My favorite anime thing like that is there's, uh, in One Piece, they didn't want the character Sanji to be smoking, so they just edited the cigarette into a lollipop, but they left the smoke in. So there's all these scenes of him just like, with a lollipop, a smoking <laughs> lollipop. You're like, uh, all right, I see what you tried to do, but you didn't try yeah. quite that hard. Uh, I'm keeping. Yeah, oh, I haven't even actually looked, hang on. Is it is it Dragon Ball where they always have like some uh, like a a really quick little cutaway to like a news report being like everyone was evacuated from the city? But <laughs> <laughs> well, amazing thing in um, in Dragon Balls, they actually had a character in the Japanese sure, version named Mister right. Satan, and the English audience producers were like, "Nope, we're gonna have to change that name." Oh yeah, he's Hercule. And, uh... All right, Mister Satan, Blazing Rootwala. I'm past oh. the turn. All right. I remember the uh, card game, I think it was, um, Slagwood's Bridge, and pass back to you, uh, with the um, frothy mugs of water, I think is what it was. <laughs> it was just they replaced the beer, and they were like, it's, uh, they're, they're, it's what, like they, de they decolored, they desaturated the art so it looked like water, but it still had foam, so it was like, it's the frothy mugs of water. <laughs> Uh, ignoble hierarch. Oh, baby! Uh, I'm gonna give my blazing root wall a plus two plus oh and swing in for four. Um, Ooh. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Pass the turn. All right, all right, all right. Uh, is land. 
what are the stats of those creatures? One, one, oh, one. And, they, oh. and together they hit you for four. <laughs> this is so gross. Are you fire? Fire. <gasps> no. Uh, I can feed. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Is that more uh, of a shadow zone or a phantom zone moment? <laughs> uh, well, I uh, I feel like I had this coming. Uh, pass. Oh, no. I uh, kept a land handful of lands in those two cards. I mean, I think it was a good keep. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Um, bird. Caw. Yeah. Surveil. Uh... Forest to the bin. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm going to play this mountain. And uh, I'm going to play this abundant harvest and say non land. <laughs> uh, hey, there we go. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. James? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> All righty then, and then random or er, in the rest in the bottom in a random order. Thank oh. God for abundant harvest. That Holy has to be crap. one of the best abundant. Har what was that? That was going to be. I mean, we you, I, look. It was going to be one, two, three, four, five, six draws of land. At what point through that would you have been like, forget it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jesus. and take this faithless looting. Um, oh my god! And <laughs> I can't believe the arena shuffler would do this to you. <laughs> Man, we really got to talk about this shuffler here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna faithless salvaging. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeet one of these mountains in my hand. Draw a card, uh, and then uh, put this in the rebound zone and uh, pass it on to you, buddy. All righty. I'm going to play a second island. Uh, I'm going to attack you for one with my bird. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will play the Banner Hide Crew Shock, which is the 4-4 four, four mm. with, like, multiple abilities that sort of interact in fun ways. Well, not really. It. Well, I mean, like, because you can discard. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. It's a 4-4. Four, four, <laughs> All right. Let's not get too bogged down on talking about Bannerhead Crew Shock. Yeah. Uh, Faith of Salvaging comes off. Uh, I'm going to discard this forest and draw. Uh, and then uh, draw for the turn. All right. Play in this forest. Um, I don't know why it's not called Faithless Rummaging. That would be good. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Watsy calls that ability salvaging and we just have never picked up on it oh. maybe like we um, called it rummaging because it it was i believe it was first sort of codified on like it, it it had been around before maybe but it was rummaging goblin was i think that one sounds of the first right yeah instances. much like the yeah. calling looting because it was on looters right yeah magic players are not very creative <laughs> <laughs> hey Hey, yes. this card has this thing. Let's just name it that thing forever. I am disappointed that it's Ward instead of Frost Tightening, though. Just going to throw that one out there. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, I think I just have to do stuff or else I die. Wait, so does that mean like a Frost Titan would have Frost Tightening too? <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Strike It Rich and make a treasure. Yeah. Uh, and then crack said treasure... And Frost play armor. another four and play Ave Progenitor Ooze. Mm, so this is the no third spell I've cast. Oh, because you cast, you got your rebound as well. Yeah, from Rummage, Faithless Root. Oh, baby. Yes. Yeah. So you get two, you get a two, two, and then a three, three. three or a, four, I mean, you get a two, two, and then a two, two with a one counter, and then, and then the actual card with two counters. Yes. So Dope. I'll, uh, Make actual tokens for them, but so I have a two-two, a three-three, and a four-four. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, it's all right. And I'll pass to you. 
Okie dokie. I was wondering when we were going to see why the deck is called Storms of Bruin. Yeah, well, that, I, I had, I had like, the ability to make, like, a storm count of seven last game, but no payoff. Oh. <laughs> And that's that's storm baby right that's and your storm, cost baby. reduction goblins are like super yeah. good too right yeah they're the electromancers for this mm. what do i want to do for some reason I, I like that the progenitor ooze has a name i feel like oozes never have names <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to pay red and blue to Kaleida Scorch the 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I do still don't have Delirium, because that's uh, an instant land and sorcery. And uh, I'm also going to cast Road. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, I still don't have Delirium, and I won't even after this resolves. Because it's all just instant cast. sorceries in that one land. Um, I'm going to get the planes. Put, we'll put road into road. the bin. Road? Road? Well, it's like, um, it's, that's the funniest thing, though, about, like, the split cards in Magic. Because it's like, as a single card, it's like, okay, sure, that works really well as a name, and those are clever, and I love them. But the individual spells, right? It's like, all right, I cast Mouth. <laughs> Yeah. What? Excuse me. And then it's like, and feed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yum. Yeah. I mean, at least uh, fire and ice like kind of work. Yeah. So, um, and then I will ping you with the, those things. Don't have reach, do they? They do not. No. Okay. I'm They're just hit you for one with the, buddies now. This foulest watcher. And, uh, uh, yeah. I right, take one. Pass My favorite over. is probably I cast leave. <laughs> uh, farm. What? It's... I farm your creature. I farm your creature. I beg uh, your pardon. Ch -ch 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 combat. Yo. Swing for four. Uh, I block. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll trade. All right. Uh, I'm gonna cast Dragon Rage Channeler. Ooh. Uh, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I surveil one, and as long nice. as there are four or more, it's got delirium, so it gets plus two, plus two, and flying, and has to attack every combat, so it's a three, three flyer. Because um, I definitely have delirium. I got creature, sorcery, instant, land. Nice. I also freshly have delirium. Um, and then I'm going to cast this Talisman of Conviction mm. and surveil one. Uh, Sure. And I'll pass to you, buddy. Alrighty. Serge, I, I got back recently from going to your house and eating all your pizza, but I did save you a slice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the more the merrier, friend. Um, so that thing has flying all the time now? Yes, and has to attack every turn. So it's a 3-3. Three, three. Is a 3-3 three, three has flying and attacks each turn if able. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to just... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. I'm paying 5 specifically in white, green, blue, and red. Okay. For a glinting creeper. Um, it enters with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters for each color of mana. Mm -hmm. So, eight. Yep. And it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. And I don't have an attack because that thing is a 3-3. Three, three, and so I pass. All right. Uh, Draw. Dragon's Rage Channel gets plus two, plus two, and flying and attacks each combat. Hmm. All right. Go to combat. Yo! So for three. Come on through. All right. And I will pass to you. All right. So this game, I'm drawing the other like side of the deck, I mm -hmm. guess. 
Oh, trust me. I feel you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I will attack with both of my creatures. Uh, what's the scavenge? So is can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. So your three three can block it. It's an eight eight. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a zero zero with eight counters on it. Um, doesn't the and the 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 rhino has salvage or whatever, doesn't it? Oh, scavenge. That's sor that's sorcery speed only. Yes, that's okay. um five green green. Uh, to put four counters on something, but that's, I don't actually even have seven mana. Okay. Um, cards in hand? Three. <sighs> uh, I'll take nine. <laughs> uh, I, I have delirium, so it would be 10. I'll take 10. All right. Um, ba -ba -boom. said with to... confidence i like that ben's like i yeah. have a plan take how much <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's worrisome definitely uh i'm gonna play or i'm suspend rather a rift sower okay and then i'm going to oh no i'm not am i i'm not gonna do that uh oh hmm well this changes everything <laughs> yeah well now i wonder if i'm just gonna die uh no i'll tell you what i'll do i will just play um an era Ooh, ah. it's a one four it's a two four and i can discard a card to um switch its power and toughness until end of turn so i can it's two four i can make it into a four two by discarding a card okay and that is me uh, on your end step, I'm going to uh -oh. mind collapse the uh, the air amoeba and do a five to it. Yep. Uh, surveil off of the dragon's rage. Um, yep. This is bad, G. With six lands on the bottom of his deck, he's ripping nothing but gas. I know. <laughs> that was so many lands. I have a question. You got two judges. <clears throat> what up? This probably means I'm dead. No. Earmuffs, Graham. <laughs> I can take my headphones off. Discarding isn't a part of the cost, so if I cast it, I just draw, right? Or do I have to? Uh, have does it have an intervening discard? if? Sorry, what's the name of the card? Yeah, it's Faithless Salvaging. Oh, it has a then, so discard a card, then draw a card. Uh, I think that still means you get a card if you're held yeah. yeah, let's let's check. Mm. I mean, is there really any point? Uh, I guess I get a rebound. My question is, what was the Aramiba doing in a mine? Pharmacist, pharmacist judge says, if you're hellbent, you still get the card. Yeah, sounds right. Six. Just... I leave this mystery card yes. on top. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> no <laughs> Whatever sad. could it be? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm going to play this Faithless Salvaging. Mm -hmm. uh, surveil trigger. Mm. Um... Hmm. I'm going to leave it on top and draw it. Okay. Very good. Um, and your salvaging is exiled until rebound. Yes. Um, and I go to combat. Mm hmm. Swing for six. Yep. I can't do anything about that. And pass to you. All right. So I'm at six because I was at 12. Yeah. I had you at 13. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Been... Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're at seven. Okay. Yeah. I guess I, I agree with that. Been, been misreading that. Sorry. All right. Untap. I believe chat will let us know if there's a mistake there. But... Suspend counter <laughs> comes off rift. So we're draw. Imagine chat not letting us know when there was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> It would never happen. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, just crickets. That means everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So how many cards do you have in your hand? One that okay. I just drew off of face, faceless salvaging. And kept it after a surveil. <laughs> that makes it extra spooky. But does it actually save me? Or am I, <laughs> am I merely posturing? I mean, I truly don't know, uh, but I guess we'll find out. I'm going to attack Ooh, you Oh, he's going these... for it. Okay. And that card is... I'm going to cast Verdant I... Command. <gasps> I'm going to do? choose gain three life and make two squirrels. So I go to 11. It is worth mentioning the squirrels need to be tapped. That's a, yeah, but he's oh, only yeah. doing 10. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Exciting. Wow. <laughs> Big Very plays. Nice. Big plays. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I really should have brought. I mean, oh, the yeah, squirrels like, also can't it's walk. All the crabs. It's all crabs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have. Uh, uh, I'm gonna flash back Kaleidos score. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> saw the line. More tricks. That's fair. All right, GG, buddy. GG. <laughs> Ugh. Storm is. Uh, I feel like I have the potential to make it happen in this deck. Like I have all the pieces, but boy, does uh, is there just an utter lack of uh, good card draw in these colors in the early stages? And mm -hmm. I feel like you just sort of get. I don't know if you're supposed to actually play Storm in limited in this archetype, but I don't know. I th I mean I think so probably. Maybe I'm supposed to also, but like even in blue, there's like mediocre like the card draw in this in this besides like brain you like cantrips and stuff right yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the so. treasure tokens might make it easier but fair enough yeah so in right, the words right. of graham uh ben will advance to join me in the losers <laughs> bracket yeah in, in yeah yeah in the and uh, bracket. we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back we we may see that we, we may just move to the to the final round we'll Probably talk about that do. yeah during I mean, the break fine. Yeah. don't go away we'll be right back Hello and welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on Loading Ready Run, where we've determined that we have enough time remaining in the evening for the final round, which will be myself versus Nelson with Ben and Serge joining us on commentary. I, that's it. That's all I got. That's yeah, I'm over here there. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't moved from this spot, but Paul's like, man, I mean, those records in the background seem pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's different different layout depending on which window you're in man someday someday we'll be in the same room and we'll have different problems yeah it'll anyway be great. Can't uh wait. we've we've rolled dice uh i won the die roll so i've decided to play and i have a seven and nelson you have a seven i have a seven good luck great let's, Graham. let's play magic good luck All to right. you too yeah. i'm gonna open up with a wait read it razor tide bridge Jeez. go ahead and i shall play a dross forge bridge back to you nice uh, the eagle-eyed among you will note that I'm using the Disregard Commons Acquire Legacy Foils sleeves, which sadly are sold out. We are still slowly working on that, but we have many other fine magic products available at store.loadingreadyrun.com. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, here comes the Jade Avenger. Oh boy. Two, two, here Bushido comes that two. boy. Go for it. Hmm? Two, two, Bushido 2. Yeah. It took me a while to realize... Stuff. I, had to, I had to read the Wizards article actually explaining this joke. Oh. Uh, it's the there's I know it's Chub Toad right Chub Toad oh, yeah yes. the first the first part of the kind of like limerick or or it's a different kind of limerick but they're very similar right yeah but it's it's the Chub Toad the ability that Chub Toad has first printed in uh, like Ice Age or something yeah uh, Chub Toad Mirage? is Ice Age yeah Ice Age okay. is yeah, yeah it, it is Bushido it is Bushido right oh. and then later they codified it as bushido and then they were like wait so should that shouldn't that frog have bushido and they were like that mm. feels weird so they decided to not give it bushido right. uh, in the oracle text and everyone was like it it should be a samurai frog and everyone's yeah. like that's stupid and so finally they've made an actual samurai frog with bushido but so I mean, yeah looking I at the mechanics again this should be called uh, chub toad it's not <laughs> bushido right yeah, yeah. exactly 
I just play a Tangle Pool Bridge and then pass. I All also right. noticed this card, um, you know, when we were opening up pools and stuff at the PPR, and I was like, wait, have, it looks like it's from Kamigawa and it has Bushido. Like, were there just always frogs in <laughs> Kamigawa and this is like a Berenstein Bridge <laughs> thing or whatever? Excuse like, me. like, am I in the wrong side of uh, the, you know, reality time stream or something? I just don't remember that there were frogs. I take two. All right. Uh, I'm going to cast Road. Road. <laughs> Road. Road. And I will probably look for one of my off color lands. So I'll get a Montagna. And then that's going to go to my graveyard, and that's going to be the turn. So go ahead. I'm tapping. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well. Also, the name, apparently, the name Chub Toad was was itself a joke at the time because it was like an anagram of the name of a designer that's incredible oh. yeah i'll sacrifice this verdant catacomb oh dropping me to 17 and i'll find a swamp <laughs> oh yeah rita rita spirit uh hunter points out that tomorrow's Emmy's familiar is a frog. That's fair, but not a frog samurai. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got Usri, Fortune's Flame, a 2-3 flyer with an ability when it attacks that might Ooh. hurt me or draw me cards and in a very rare circumstance let me cast my spells for free. Back to you. Ooh. All right. And draw. So that's a 2-3? Yes, two, three, flying. All right. Uh, double checking how Bushido works. Does what you yes. want it to. I will attack. Yeah, I'll take two. All right. Uh, I'm going to play an island, and for five mana <coughs> and four different colors, <laughs> I'm going to play a Glinting Creeper. Great. That's great. Is that for turn me. four? Yup. Yeah, turn road. four, ten, ten. Yep. Eight eight. Oh, oh hey gosh. Nelson, it's happening again. It's happening. It's happening Merely again. an eight eight. I want ramp spells too. I made a ten ten. Oh right, yeah yeah yeah. Why nice couldn't you make spell. it a ten ten? Where's that black splash we tried to talk yeah, you into? Pretty pretty <laughs> suboptimal, honestly. Not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I could do that, and then that, and then that's okay, and then that's not so bad, right? In the meantime, can I take 10? Yeah, probably. Okay, so what does this do? It attacks. I choose a number between 1 and 5. I've got to roll at least 1. And then I flip coins. And oh. I draw cards. Hey, Paul, do I you have damage. the coin flipping thing available? Or Ooh. is that a whole extra layer? I could find some coins if you don't have it, Paul. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Right. Sorry. I did put, put a coin flipping card in my deck here, Paul. I didn't tell you about it. Um, well, I feel like choosing 5 is suicide so do it <laughs> you want me to do it is it all my spells i no, mean cowards so for each flip you win draw a card for each flip you lose it deals two damage to you if you win five flips this way you may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost i mean wow. if i win the five flips what is this like i mean you are facing four, down an eight, eight eight i think you gotta go base yeah. here i have a plan to deal with the eight eight next turn okay but but i could just go you could totally do it this am. turn yeah all right I, should I go find five coins? Is it cursed unless I get the coins? I don't have coins. No, no, no. I mean, we don't dice. want to bully you into it. We're just saying you might be slightly a coward if you don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And therefore, a changeling. Here we go. Yeah. On camera, you three, if you will. All right. Do you want... Should heads be high or heads be odd? Or should I go get the coins? Bullies? Up to you. Odd. Up to you. Odd you is heads. Heads odd. Is odd. Odd is heads. So we want, we want to get, like... Five odd numbers to win the game, and yep. basically any other result, and we die on the spot. Yes. Well, we take six, and we draw two. Nope, we take eight, and we draw one card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to game two. <laughs> hey, kids, listen. Go ahead and play this cards if you don't have friends. Um... <laughs> Get back in here, camel. 
<laughs> that's that's no! you do. That's when you do uh, side in blood, and the devil's like, "Oh, geez, you didn't have to put that much blood on it, dude." That's, yeah. <laughs> that's so I just need a little signature. That's well, oh, it's going I mean, through to the back. That, oh, <laughs> that would have been a good play if you flipped the coins correctly. Yeah, I'm gonna say that one's on you, Nelson. Yeah. A, a, a better player would have simply flipped luckier. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you Mega almost Doss got X. all even numbers. <laughs> Megados X says, I didn't know Friday Night Paper Fight was also going to feature an anti-gambling PSA. <laughs> yeah, we work those in every once in a while. Thanks to yeah. the government of BC. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but Panther Reloaded points out, Nelson can block warriors. Yeah, thanks, There Panther. you go. Appreciate and isn't it. that the greatest victory? Yeah. Uh... I'm going to get, like, a firmly worded message from Beej later tonight about bullying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when's the July planning meeting? I have a side talk and you can have someone. Who is who is our HR department? Again? I don't know why you would listen to me. <laughs> You're a pillar I, of the magic community, but my my first my first game against Graham, I played six lands and a goblin and narcomancer and then scooped. <laughs> that's, uh, that's always like the, that's that's the perfect like magic advice thing where it's like come on do this do this do this and they do it why did you listen to me why did you do that <laughs> yeah yep Every and time. we'll call them twitch chat <laughs> <laughs> you fool i'll go first uh no i was just joking brah i can keep yeah. i can keep yeah kappa right. i can also keep uh bridge go ahead it's blue green bridge it's blue white go ahead bridge i don't know how to play it um, Neither do I, but my dad tells me it was like a big deal in college, like people skipping class to go play bridge. Mm, that sounds all right. Red, black, gin, rummy. Go ahead. <laughs> I know, right? It doesn't sound like a real thing that like it humans like did. A dad, he's trying to be like, no, no, no! I swear, the bridge thing. It was big. Everybody, was everyone was playing it. I swear. <laughs> I met your wife Everybody playing bridge. bridge. Like, oh, dad, you. <laughs> You didn't have much to do Saturday nights, did you, in college? <laughs> uh, I played a forest and a glimmer baron. Go ahead. Oh, no. Like old-timey WoW or EverQuest or something. <laughs> yeah. Fair. I mean, this was the 70s, right? It's Looking, like... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, did you my have turn. to have a subscription to Bridge as well? <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to cast Road. 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 And Road. Oh, hello, I think Remy. I've seen more versions of Road in Sketch small. Frame than I have in Normal Frame. Yeah, I saw it like it came up on the overlay with like, the actual art, and I'm like, oh, cool, that's what it looks like, because this card just looks like they removed the art, and it's two blank it's, white rectangles. Yeah, it yeah. Is, of all the sketch cards, I think it is the, the most sketchy of the sketch cards. Yeah. 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 yeah, someone else has already said that in chat. So this is yes, just an weird. actual picture of the, like, the bar napkin <laughs> that, <laughs> that they yeah. worked on. And then back to you. All right. Whoops. Almost drew two there. Um, his land. Face itchy still. Uh, let's see. Oh, I mean, let's try it, I guess. Uh, I attack. No blocks. Cool. Take one. It hurts. Uh, I'm going to play a Scurry Oak. Sorry, take how much from that? Is it just one? one. Just one. Okay, thank you. And go ahead. 2-3 evolve. Makes squirrels. Yeah, and every time you evolve, or anytime you put a counter on it, anytime any number of counters are put on Scurry Oak, uh, you may create a squirrel. Okay. Sounds good. I've got a Riptide Laboratory. Oh. Why is Road to Ruin formatted like that? Uh, because it's an aftermath card, so they're different than. I was going to get mine, but mine's in the deck. It's a dreadful, dreadful miscut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hilarious printing error. Um, I will cast oh, nice. Wave Sifter and then make two clues and pass the turn. All right. So Wave Sifter is a 3 2? 3 2 flying. All right. Uh, should I tap that? Uh, I'm going to play... I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to play a Burdened Aerialist. All right. So, um, Scurry Oak evolves. So I make... I choose to make a Squabble. Okay. And then I also get a treasure. Uh, 
then I will three two you say. I will attack with Glimmer Baron. Okay, so remind me, pay one and sacrifice a token. Just sacrifice a token, and Glimmer Baron gets plus two plus two. So it will become a three four. Okay. And it's okay, it's a one two. Yeah. So I can like block and then trade with a treasure token, you say. No blocks. Alright. Uh yeah, take one. Eighteen. Great, go ahead. Uh, oh, you mean the formatting of the name of Aftermath cards? Yeah, yeah cuz the split cards were uh, the original split cards were all and phrases like mm -hmm. um beck and call and profit and loss from the original Ravnica block. And then the Aftermath cards are all two phrases. So road to ruin um I don't know, like dawn to dusk. Ones like that. Drawing it card from clue yes um sacrificing a word in catacombs 17 mm -hmm. will fall to some amount less and get this wrong part of your library Um, think step. Yeah. Let's let's be brave and cast this Gaia drone, Ugh. and then we'll uh. say there's nothing really good to steal here. I don't think. Um, so I'll plus one. So you lose two, I gain two, and. Let's just give her protection from the oak and say go. Okie dokie. The oak's a 3-4 right now, right? A uh, 2-3. Oh, it starts off as a 1-2. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's it cool. can get bigger. Yeah, okay. it's, cool. it's cool. All right. Has the potential to grow large. That makes more sense with why that did, thing didn't attack last turn. That was a little suspect. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. That, oh my. Oh my. That changes my turn. Um. Yes, that is what I'm going to do because Dehada is a big, scary problem. I'm going to play Solitude. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, easy splash, baby. Yeah. <laughs> easy splash, baby. So, um, Scurry Oak evolves. Uh, I make a... Oh, wrong pile. Hang on. I make a squirrel. Um, when it enters the battlefield, uh, exile up to another target creature. That creature's control gains life equal to its power. So yeah, I exile your um, wave sifter. Is it wave sifter? Yep. And yeah, Nelson's cool. already exiled the creature and put his planeswalker into the right. graveyard, and then put <laughs> so a D6 you gain... out just to indicate where it used to be to make for transparency right. here. So you gain three. It looks like Surge is already taking care of that. Um, and then I will attack. You have to hit it for five. Yeah, so I attack with a 1-1 one, one Squirrel, a 1-2 Glimmer Baron, and a 3-1 Burdened Aerialist for yeah. 5, and then I attack you with my Scurry Oak for 3. Sure. I lose 3. Okay. See what happened there is Nelson saw that in his mind. Mm -hmm. as, soon as, as soon as Graham started tapping for Solitude, Nelson's right. like, there's only one possible outcome here. On a side <laughs> note, don't do that at your LGS. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Go ahead. 
I yeah. mean, well, actually, probably, those shortcuts are a lot more common in paper. It's probably, like, yeah. well, it's way easier to do that in paper that, than yeah. it is when you're streaming. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Like that's normal paper magic, right? You just kind of like flinch and yeah. gesture with a card, and then both players just put it directly into the graveyard. Nobody articulates anything. Yeah, this. yeah. Like I would, like, I would say to somebody who's uh, like, you know, playing the the game and whatnot, that 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 could be like seen as kind of off. But like it, it, amongst friends and whatnot, it's, it's a like matter of totally communication. Fine. As long as both yeah. players are on the same page, I definitely say if a player ever asks you to slow it down, slow it down. Mm -hmm. But when like, when we were when we had guests in for PPR, exactly, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Particularly with pro players, we have to be like, say what the card yeah, is, slow it down, yeah. then yeah. say what it does, yeah. and then say what, what that happens. means in yeah. this moment. Yeah, because other you know, because especially pro players like on like live coverage, they're used to just like do this right they'll just be like mm -hmm. your thing and it, it is absolutely not bad practice <laughs> yeah. it is absolutely acceptable to play with people at a comfort level that works like that and if it doesn't work you back it off you absolutely yeah. back it off oh, but yeah. to assume that it's bad outright no you're wrong <laughs> don't call <laughs> us out for that you do what you got to do it's a game as long as everyone's having fun it's fine as long as everyone is communicating it's fine okay so i've got prophetic okay. titan uh, i'll cast this prophetic titan it's a 4-4 four, four giant wizard with, uh, I guess, one ability. So it has Delirium. I, I have mm -hmm. Instant Sorcery Land Planeswalker now. Oh, yeah. All right. So I get wow. to deal four damage I'm to out. any target, and I get to get a card off the top four of my library. Uh, so I think I'll deal four to the Scurry Oak. Uh, does yeah. That, does that work? Yep. And I'll look at the top four and put one into my hand and the others on the bottom. Hmm. Huh. Tough call here, actually. Oh, I played this turn wrong. Shouldn't have played my land first, but that's okay. Uh... Right. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just... I'll take this one. These four go in a random order on the bottom. And it's your turn, Graham. All right. Ironically, uh, uh -huh. the remote magic thing has forced pros and people to be more explicit about their plays. Just mm -hmm. to, uh, so that their opponent actually knows what's going on. You can't really just poke at things anymore. Uh, I'll play... Yeah, certainly not a, trying to lock out any viewers from what was going down there, but... No. Yeah. A, I'll play a second uh, Burdened Aerialist. Get a treasure. Um, and then I will sacrifice a treasure and tap these two. Uh, sacrificing a treasure means my burdened aerialists gain flying. Yep. Uh, and I'll play a nettle cyst. Oh boy. That's a good one. And there we go. Make a germ. So currently not, not gigantic, right? Terrifying. Four, four? Uh, gets plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment I control, which is actually only two. Three. I've got a treasure and a nettle cyst. No, and a land. You get a bridge. Brands. Oh, and a bridge. So 3-3, three, three, right? Oh, yes, a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Um, and then I will... Uh, I think doesn't have reach, despite being nope. very large? No, nope, okay. just a 4-4 four, four on the ground. All right, so I will attack with the aerialist that is able to attack and my solitude. Solitude's a 3-2 lifelink? Uh, yes. I will block solitude. Wait, what? I have a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, Solitude doesn't have flying. I thought Solitude had flying. Do you want to not attack with Solitude? I do want to not attack totally with Solitude. Fine. It has, sorry, Solitude has flash, which is different from flying by several letters. Welcome. Um, okay, yeah, I attack with uh, Where's the, the line? One. Yeah, yeah, I'll take three. Okay. Go ahead. Last, last time we had math with Loading Ready Run and... Today we have spelling with words. Ready Run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I would like to cast a spell called 
Same mistake happened in the PPR. Did someone get solitude at the PPR and I missed it? Uh, did Kathleen have it? Hmm. I don't think so. She was I had fear. Red black. Right. Great. Anyway, Can't what do you? Know. Oh no! I've got Archfiend of Sorrows. I want to minus two, minus two. Your team. <clears throat> Creatures my opponent's control get minus two, minus two until I'm turn. And this has flying and is a four or five. Wow, that's so bad for me. Yeah, this card. That's a, so catastrophically bad. This card's a bit of a thing. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice. I don't know. I guess this germ. Oh no! Wait, no. The germ will live through this actually. So I'm gonna sacrifice a squirrel that's gonna die to my Glimmer Baron. Okay. Um, I guess I'll sacrifice both my squirrels to the Glimmer Baron, really. Why not? And then these guys all die. Oof. Okay, so Glimmer Baron, plus four, plus four. Yeah, right? so it's a minus five, two, six two. with two damage. Or no, it's a minus, is minus two, minus two? Okay, so yeah, it's a... Yeah, three, four. It's a three, four. Okay. And I guess the question then becomes, do I want to trade Prophetic Titan for like a germ token? And then the Glimmer Baron would eat it. I don't think so. Goldmire Bridge, pass. All right. Yeah, Megados, but it's the good half of Massacre. For only one extra mana. Uh, four or five flying. Yeah. Sheesh. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll do. We'll say one, two, three, four. Crack this treasure. Okay. Uh, we'll say I crack the treasure for red. Great. For our friend Glinting Creeper. Cool. So again, that's four colors. One large creepy boy. Can't you get to five? Isn't that. Or no, it's a blue white bridge? Yeah. Okay. So it's. Let's say white, white, blue, green, red. Okay. And there, yeah. So, uh, bu -bu 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 go. On top. Right, and Nettle says doesn't is not batter bones. It's not batter, batter bones. No. Batter bones does lifelink. Yeah. Nettle says does not do lifelink. Time for a new button. Nettle Sis does not do lifelink button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be like, uh, <laughs> I, yeah. it's probably going to be relevant at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I like no, it. I like good. it. I like that. Or just like <laughs> Nettle Sis does not cranial yeah. plating or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cranial plating doesn't pump toughness. I don't know. This yeah. aren't even. It's gross. Okay. We've got. Prismatic ending, X equals four. No. Uh, white, green, black, red, blue. And we'll choose the Glinting Creeper to exile. That is the exact mana value of Glinting Creeper. Then we have a Steel Dromedary, which comes into play tapped. Yup. And then I'll move to combat, and I'll immediately re remove a counter, because that's how you're supposed to play this card. It turns <laughs> out. <laughs> Um, and then I'll put that counter onto... Now, let me just do the quick math here. You have a bridge and a nettle cyst, right? Yes. And no other tokens besides the germ. I will put the counter on the flyer and attack for nine. Nine! Wow. Uh, I guess I'm going to take nine. Thornglint bridge, go. Boy, oh boy. Um, oh, that's awkward. Um... I could be dead here if you have, like... The manufacturer and then Thriven um, Crab. I mean, yeah, that that would that would be pretty scary. It's just neat how how crazy like Glimmer Baron can go. Oh, because you're tapped out, right? Okay. Yeah, all tapped. Yeah. Yeah. Go go um, forth. Deal the damages. <laughs> go west. <laughs> Life is peaceful there. I mean, I wish it had. Um, I wish it had Life Link now. Uh, uh, I play a banner hide crew shock. I don't know what that means. That's a four four with trample. Okay. And that's the whole turn. Until Go ahead. It's just a four four with trample. Oh, I see. Yep. It has other abilities that we're not using. 
You yeah. never want to hear just a four four with trample when you're facing Merely unlethal, four, right? Four. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I should oh, have I'm attacked. Sorry, is that it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Turn. Like, ah, nothing else coming my way. I guess I should have attacked with Glimmer Baron because I you, don't you, really want to block with it. Nelson only has one ground creature, but you want to no. turn? No, 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 no. Carry on. Cheat step attack me for one. It's cool. Yeah, it's fine. All right. I just like realizing things right after I've <laughs> passed yeah. the turn. You're like, oh, you know what I should have done. Okay. Okay, we can't do that. Oh, we can do that, though. Okay, let's do that. I will sacrifice this clue. No, I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something. That's a thing. Let's do that. Move a bunch of things into a bunch of places. Let's Moving cast things into places. Rift Sower. Let's put a Thorngloop Bridge into play again. Let's go to combat, move this over here, and attack for six in the sky. Yep. Then we'll say go. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Well, uh. <laughs> these are the noises I make. Um, may I interest you in my noises? I like noises uh, in general. Yeah, I'm a okay, fan so of sounds. Got your four four back. Uh, okay, so I guess all right. I'm gonna play uh, tap three. Play Sanctuary Raptor. Okay, which is a two one flyer. Um, okay. It does. It could be a different thing when it attacks, but it, that's only if I control three or more tokens, which I do not. Uh, and then I will suspend this Rift Sower on camera, and. In front of everybody, <laughs> the whole world can see that suspense. Don't don't look. Um, that's it. Go ahead. I'm nervous about Graham thinking he has two more turns. What's up your sleeve? Riptide <laughs> Laboratory targets Prophetic Titan. Is that okay? Oh no, deeply. That's very. Oh bad. no, it's a wizard. <laughs> right, that thing that thing can hit anything, right? Yeah, I'll for you on my turn. <laughs> well, not sure as a game, game three. three. Isn't it? Ooh. It's a Modern wizard. Horizons. Yeah, I I had I also in my pre-release pool I had a Riptide Lab and uh, one of those things. It was the only wizard, and I was like, <laughs> is this, this is, is this worth fine it on its own? Is this worth? Yeah. Oh, oh hey, we're back. Uh, we sorry, Gred says, wait, what happened? Sorry. Um, Nelson bounced Prophetic Titan to his hand at the end of turn with Riptide uh, Laboratory because Riptide Laboratory bounces a wizard you control and Prophetic Titan is a wizard. So then on his turn, he was going to get to just cast Prophetic Titan and dome me for four. And I was at two. So I was dead. I just didn't know it yet. <laughs> You're already dead. Yes. Oh my, oh my. Shindairu. Nani? Roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> oh my, oh emotion I love that one so you much. you at least take the five steps to walk away before your heart explodes, or do you just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have we confirmed that two is less than four? I haven't checked with the judges yet. That's a good point. We're waiting we on our runner. on the phone. Yeah. 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 I've decided to escalate it to, the, to head judge, so he's nice. going to go talk to the TO. All? And then... <laughs> Beach. Yeah. Is Beach in the building? Beach isn't on the line. Overlord Beach. Paul says... Hmm. Two, two is indeed less than four. Yes. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. Dinger. Okay. All right. It's a fair cop. Uh, I'd like to play, and uh, I have a seven that I am willing to. Jesus, Christmas motorcycle. Chill out. I have a seven I'm willing to keep. And I also have a seven I'm willing to keep. Good luck, Grant. Awesome. Good luck to you too. Island. Go ahead. Tangle pool bridge. Go ahead. Forest, Foul Watcher. We're going to go ahead and surveil. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. That can stay there, right? Stay there? Or I can go to the graveyard. Yes, right. That can stay there. Go ahead. It's only got this one trip, one opportunity to go to the graveyard. <laughs> like, what's the other mode of surveil other than put in graveyard? I never choose that one. Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh, I have a huh, cross huh. Force bridge, and I'll suspend Rift Sower and pass the turn. All right. Forest. I mean, mountain. Wow. 
<laughs> attack with this bird for one. Hurts me for one. And it's easy in this format when you're playing all the colors. It's easy to just be like, I don't know, land. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the blue uh, one. I play a scurry oak. Got it's it. the squirrel tree. Go ahead. Untap. It's like the world tree, but much smaller. Hmm. Also louder. Yeah. So much chittering. Twice as adorable, though. Okay. That is also true. And it's a one-two? Presently. So Collide of Scorch dealing two damage to it would be kind of sweet, then. Uh, I mean, for you, maybe. Thorn Glen Bridge passes her. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Confirm it was good for me. Or, like, narrator. Okay. All right. Uh, in for one. Yep. It hurts. Burdened Aerialist. Okay. Treasure. Go ahead. Treasure. Treasure. Elf Druid. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Attack for one. Wait. Nope, I can't do that. Sorry, cheat stuff. Okay. Right. Red. <laughs> Black. Blue. <laughs> Gay drone. Plus one. Woof. Plus one. Corrupt A31 creature. Yeah, that seems better than uh, attacking crap. for one. Well, I thought I had the mana, <laughs> and I can't. I didn't think I could block. Although I'm remembering now that like being able to block that thing is kind of good, because you have to sacrifice a token to fly. But it's okay. I'll just be vulnerable to Stormcrow and say go. I don't think I have a quick enough. So, real quick, uh, you flust, so I do that. Yeah, this card is brutal to try and kill if you don't yeah. have. Just oh, like right. You plus, right. So I also lost life there. Oh, right. Oh, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't declare the, the life loss. Yeah, so it'd bad. be 18 to 20 now is the life yeah. totals. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. All my hard work. Like, how do you kill this thing, right? <sighs> I don't know. You you need to already have a big board you need because like otherwise it's like, like an every O-ring, subsequent yeah. you want a, threat yeah. just gets locked down. Yeah, it's a pretty good card for limited. It turns out because they need to have like some kind of maelstrom pulse or um, <laughs> planeswalkers is still good for limited. <laughs> well, <laughs> some of them, some of them are more fair than others though, right? Like yeah, oh, for sure. Like, like take one of the best players of all time or best planeswalkers of all time for constructed Liliana of the Veil. In constructed, mm. it was like good, but not incredible. Or in draft, you mean? Or see? Yeah, sorry, I mean, sorry. I mean, yeah, it's like uh, I think she was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I tripped over right. myself there. I mean, limited. She was, she was yeah. good, but not. There were way better cards in that format for limited. I'm gonna play another burdened aerialist, make another treasure, uh, and I'm gonna attack Dehada with the foul watcher and you with the burdened aerialist. That all happens. You don't have to learn that, right? No. Okay, so Dehada nope. takes one, and I take three. Yeah. What's her plus ability? So the plus is drain you for two. No, no, or sorry, how many is the plus? It plus is one. So it's okay. plus one, minus three, minus seven, and she starts with four. All right. Go. On top. Yep. Okay. This is a very interesting Planeswalker, because you always value a Planeswalker that's plus ability protects itself. Mm -hmm. But this plus one protects itself, but doesn't protect your life total. Yeah, it doesn't protect you, yeah. Yeah, which is uh, a little bit unique, a very unique way of doing that. Mm. Okay, uh, let's plus again. So I'll gain two, you lose two. And this time I'll target the Surveil Bird, I think. Yeah. And then I'll play a Forest and a Wave Sifter. Mm. Make two clues and say go. I think I'm going to run out of things to use as corruption counters, unfortunately. That's fair. It's kind of a weird, <laughs> it's kind of a weird card. Giving it's way too corrupted in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think somebody think of the children. Murder face ninety seven recommends using crackers. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> murder face ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one corruption cracker can be broken down into like eight more corruption crackers. That's true. Yep. Use M and M's. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law sent the kids candy dots in the mail this week. 
Oh, yeah. It's like, so they get to open a letter and it's just like got a piece of wax paper with a bunch of little like candies that I guess she made. It's very weird. Hmm. Like, they, you know, they went on a trip. Like she sent them to people she knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my mother-in-law okay. sending them to my kids. Like gotcha. Sending them to gotcha. Me. Yeah, yeah. We didn't. She's not like an anthrax like overlord. No, I, I just, yeah. I was, it was just like you know, <laughs> sent out a bunch of can- candy to random people. I was like, huh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna crack this treasure. Okay. Um, giving my aerialist flying and tap two here to play a burdened aerialist. Okay. Get another treasure. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to go to combat, and the one that can attack you attacks you, and the one that can attack Dehada attacks Dehada. Okay, Wave Sifter will block the one that can attack Dehada. Okay. But then I'll also make a white here. Oh, I have no. five artifacts, so Lens Flare only costs me one, and I'll try to kill the one attacking Dada. No, the other way around. <laughs> Sorry. No, that, no that, that I want to keep the corrupted one alive. Oh, I thought you were killing one and blocking one. Well, I, yeah, I'm blocking in case this gets countered, but I'm not oh. looking to trade. I'm looking to just lens flare one. Oh, and then, I see. And then the okay. other one lives. So the corrupted one lives. Okay. I, take, I take three. Does right. that make sense? Like the yep. block is is superfluous if uh, if you don't counter. Myself. Yeah. So this one gets through and hits you, and the one that was yeah. was going for Dehada gets blocked, but then killed. So your wave yeah. sifter doesn't die. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hopefully gotcha. That's, hopefully that's clear. Yep. I mean, it's clear to me. Um, I'm sad about it, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, like I get it, but it sucks. Yeah. But I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. That's the size of it. Um. Gosh, this, heck. This set has three black planeswalkers. Yeah, I mean, they, they were sort of... Uh, sorry, go ahead. They were sort of crimped by, like, what kind of... Like, the existing flavor of the creatures, or of the characters they decided to... Do. Well, with Dehada and Dakon, at least, Grist is just messed up. <laughs> did, you see, did you see the tweet that was just, like... Somebody was asking, like, what can you, what else can you do with jam, basically? And then some, so somebody replied to this with basically be, with being like, buy exactly three hundred and fifty seven dollars worth of jam, and then go out, uh, in, in like and cover yourself head to toe with this jam, and walk out into the forest naked and become like the the best friend to all the forest animals and all that kind of jazz and then somebody retweeted it being like gris cosplay confirmed <laughs> <laughs> yeah that just sounds that just that that you're not making friends with animals there you're not even going to get to the forest you're yeah. just going to get swarmed by insects yeah 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 uh, i cracked a clue i oh. played a land yeah i think i'm just gonna crack the other clue right now okay I played the lens flare. That's all over now. Um, <laughs> I only have one. And then I plus one to Hada, drain you for two, and put a corruption counter on the remaining creature that doesn't have a corruption counter. And I don't know. Do we crack corruption for three here? I think corruption crack counters three. are now um, SD cards. And I'll, I'll attack for three. <laughs> this is actually a very important question, Graham. What do you have more of in your house? D20s or SD cards? <laughs> <laughs> right now, probably SD cards. Like, dice? General dice? Dice. D20s specifically? Probably more. I probably have more SD cards. I've been bad about returning them to the moon base. <laughs> um, so, sorry, what was the... Oh, yeah, then I just want to hit you for three. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't love it, but go for it. Okay, and then I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Uh, forest. Um, hmm. Megadas, I don't know if I'm going to get to all Gadron, but I wouldn't mind. I'm going to sack a treasure and tap two for road 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 and then i guess for variety we'll get this planes and that is still not quite um 
delirium. Gotta be close. It's close. I only need one other thing. Uh, and then I'm going to look at my hand again to remind myself of what I'm doing with my life. Uh, I will attack you because I can't attack Gaedron for seven in the air. It hurts. I take seven. Okay, go ahead. We're untapping. What flavor are your SD cards? Says DJ <laughs> Alternative. Um, these are uh, SanDisk SD card adapters. They're actually micro SD cards. I was really hoping you're going to lick it for a second. I saw you picking <laughs> it up. I was like, he's not going to. <laughs> no, don't lick it, Graham. No, I don't. I'm. I'm not. In, not in these days, right? I'm not petrified that times. they are going to taste like um, Nintendo Switch cartridges. Mm. Uh, anyway, this is um, this is 64 gig SanDisk Extreme card number 14. These were, of course, all used in GoPros on RoadQuest. Nice. Um, well, you might soon have the option of bringing them back to the moon base. I'm going to cast this Archfiend of Soros. Uh, uh -huh. So this gives your creatures minus two, minus two until end of turn. But hey, now those SD cards can get filed in the right spot, right? Yeah, they won't. <laughs> but they won't. <laughs> I'll attack for four and then drain you for two. So. Wait, I can't go any further. All right. oh. <laughs> I should have unplugged my headphones before I tried that. Uh, you attack for what? Four? four and I then take four. Gaia drone makes you lose two life and I gain two life and puts a counter on nothing. Oh, wait, is that allowed? Uh... There's a treasure. Up Can it to do one. artifacts? No, it's just, it says up to one other okay. target creature or planetary. So I'll just submit zero. Actually, I guess I should be corrupting my own stuff. There we go. Just in case you steal this. Now it's corrupted with this like <laughs> weird little sticker of a penguin. Or is it a puppy? I don't even know. Mm. It's like a cute little puppy that's holding the frisbee. There you go. Aww. That's corruption right there. Archfiend right. of Sorrow is just like, Ooh. I am corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. have a cute puppy sticker now. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Man, I drew my fourth, fourth? Yeah, fourth burdened aerialist. But instead, I'm going to play, because it's irrelevant. <laughs> I'm going to pop this treasure for black to play an enormous glinting creeper. Nice. We got there on this deck yeah. playing 10 10 glinter. So big. It's Can a 10 we 10. Love it? Can we just it. agree that once a creature hits a certain size, it should just get reach? It doesn't make any sense. How <laughs> large is this and it can't reach a flyer? Yeah, it's a real big plant. Maybe it's just really wide. It's a real thick yeah. plant. What if your creature yeah. is like a lake? Like, what if it's like a gigantic, like squid or leviathan? That shouldn't have reach, should it? It's like the, it's like the, it's the, um, it's like the colony of quaking aspen. That's all one right. big thing. Right. It's gigantic, but it, it's yeah. only twenty feet tall or something. The giant of wherever that's that place is. That's my whole turn and probably the whole game. Uh, <laughs> you have, you have seven in the air. Uh, yeah, I have seven. Oh, in the okay. Air. Yeah, also, well, this is a threat. Like, yeah. This this just steals your creature. Too. Good game, yeah, Nelson. Absolutely good game. Man, yeah. Gaedron is messed. Up. Yeah, if you can't kill this good. planeswalker right away, and you're playing a deck with creatures or planeswalkers in it, it's kind of a problem. So hey, I've played a, a lot of Magic, and I've played against a lot of planeswalkers, but I don't think I've ever played against a planeswalker that uninteractive before. Mm -hmm. It's just like it feels very one-sided. Even Oko, yeah. like, hey, you gave me an elk. That's fine. I can still attack yeah. you with a three-three. Yeah, yeah, planeswalker just like no. Yeah. What do you, don't what do you don't mean worry, Nelson. Now? I don't. I don't hold you personally responsible. For oh, I do. Drone, so don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Super. Super personal. Uh, super. Uh... I'm happy to take the bullet yeah. for Gaia Drone or not. She gave me a corruption counter long ago. <laughs> uh, that is going to do it for the Friday Night Paper Fight for this week. Thank you, everyone, so much All for right, bye. watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Ooh. Wait, I'll miss you. Um, um, that that is also it for streaming today. But tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's tabletop day. Except not in person just yet. So tomorrow on tabletop, tabletop day, day, he's back tabletop for tabletop day. day. We brought him back. <laughs> so tabletop, tabletop day. day. Uh, we'll be starting at 11 a.m. and 
you know, we're budgeting 90 minutes for each game. That might not necessarily land. But uh, I'll tell you that tomorrow at 11 a.m., uh, myself, Ben, Nelson, and Ian are playing Root. Then Ian, Matt, Kathleen, and Wheeler are playing Wingspan. Ben, Kathleen, Beach, and Matt are playing Ticket to Ride. And then, to round out the day, Ian, Ben, Corey, Kathleen, Matt, Wheeler, and Serge are all playing TBH. Oh. And that is going to be a fun a fun day. And then after that, Beach is playing Betrayal at Crondor. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So more Betrayal at Crondor tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, Rhythm Cafe, Ian and Heather are playing Unbeatable, and uh, I wish them luck with that, because it sounds difficult. <laughs> and <laughs> Well, gave it away. Uh, right? Yeah, and then on Is This Your Card, Wheeler is continuing to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So that will be King of Games time on Sunday. But until then, thank you all, everybody, so much for joining us. Thanks for um, being here to watch. Thanks for following the youtube channel if that's where you're watching this hello mm -hmm. you find youtube people leave a comment click the bell all that stuff that people tell you how to do you know the you know the the whole thing uh this show is brought to you by card kingdom do check out cardkingdom.com slash lrr tell them we sent you get a little button changelings are cowards is what it says right now and of course this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our patreon patreon.com slash loading ready run it really does keep the lights on over here, and we really appreciate it. Uh, that or subscribing here uh, on Twitch. And so um, myself and Ben and Serge and Nelson, thank you all for the games, by the way. Uh, we're going to welcome the welcome the subs. Yeah. So, Thanks, you too. Good night. Starting with Hexy Lexi, back for three months. Hello. Hello, hey. Hexy. Thanks for being here. Uh, Brady Zero is a brand new subscriber. You subbed for this. Thank you. Thank you. Maduncan, thank you very much for that <laughs> gift sub. Thank you. Garrick, Predator of Scrubs, don't get me! 33 months, thank you. It's the Oh No Boogie. Ah, and they're back for nine months. <laughs> On a rampage. Whoa. I have never heard that culture one. before. That's so cool! <laughs> That's good. It yeah. sounded like some kind of viperous planet. <laughs> <laughs> The Dragon Knight has appreciated that filter for 35 months now. Thank you, Dragon Knight. Murph13 for three years. Welcome back, Murph. Dirk Gently for seven dips. Quick, someone get round back and push. <laughs> Demon Fire gifted subs to both of our jokes, Blues Clues and Scooby Doo, but spelt the funny way. Happy birthday to Philos and Infinite Tokens, and fifth birthday to Apodraco. <laughs> uh, bye, Ben. Gifted by Demon Fire. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and pseudonym Ken at the end there. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much. Ben, that first filter that you used, it sounded like. Um, I don't remember the username now, but it sounded like, yeah, it sounded like you had locked the character in, uh, in like a, like a 90s fighting game. Oh, can you do a countdown in that voice? Three, two, one. Fight. Fight. <laughs> yeah. Ridge Racer. <laughs> Cruising USA. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. That's the... No, that's what it was. Sorry, three, two, one, rush. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking Running of like San ride. Francisco rush. Nice. Whoa, multi kill. Oh, anyways, quad damage. All right, that's gonna do it for the Friday Night Paper Fight. Thanks everybody for watching and being here and being great. And that's that's it. That's it. Goodbye.